Hi friends, how's it going? Hi V, Izzy, Alfie, Ali, Grace. How's everybody doing? Happy Monday. Hi Amanda. Hi Frida, Shayla. Thanks for popping in. Um, today we're going to be doing an island reset. I'm so excited. I haven't done it yet. I'm actually kind of nervous too, but I'm also just so stoked to finally start a brand new island on the channel. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. I like officially have my DA nice and ready to go, but I'm not going to share it until I have like an actual island tour up on youtube so um hi brie still mod up <laughs> how's it going Bri? let me fix that for you nice to see you though thank you so much for popping in i hope you're doing amazing today um let me just how do i fix this i i think i still had jekka as a mod too last time so <laughs> it's been so long um oh there it is okay perfect i got it Hi everybody i'm good happy monday restart day i know <laughs> i'm so excited thank you thank you so much free thank you boomy how's it going everybody i hope you're all ready to go i i'm not sure if the music's too low i feel like it's a little low i'm not sure if you guys can hear it now um but we're actually gonna do a, a good old restart i thought it'd be perfect to have it up on youtube specifically so that i have like my um you know my vod still up and i could have it someplace and i will be streaming on um on youtube on mondays but i'm also thinking of maybe doing a multi-stream sometime this week so we'll see how that goes um yeah we don't have any command set up yet i'm so sorry guys this week has been a little bit hectic for me um actually today i woke up a little bit like not feeling my best i have like a bit of a th sore throat on my side but um i'm hoping it passes it's not too bad so we'll see <laughs> hi airy hi cookies and cream um yeah i was gonna do a rules command i feel so bad for the mods too because i totally just um literally just focused myself on like getting the finishing details on my island this morning and then i made a thumbnail and i was like okay i gotta shower and eat something today <laughs> Oh, it's okay. It's not too bad right now. It's just a little sore on like the side. It's kind of been happening, I think since yesterday, but it's not too bad. So I'm like, am I going to get sick or is this just a temporary feeling, you know? Um, but yeah, if, if the mods have any ideas for anything that we absolutely need during the stream, let me know and I'll fix it or I'll try my best to fix it. I don't know if my mix, -up, mix it up bot is connected to my YouTube yet, so I might have to figure something with that out, but... Yeah, I also get a weird throat pain when the air is super dry, but it's usually, usually goes away throughout the day. I think that's what it is for me too, because it's been like one of those things where I only notice it in the morning and then it kind of just goes away at night. Thank you, Frida. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's totally fine. Thank you so much, Frida. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Um, is it Avril? Welcome in. Thank you so much for coming. And uh, yeah, I do have my little island open, but I uh, think I'm just gonna go ahead and rip the band-aid. I have the DA ready to go. The only thing that's not, I'm wearing the lippy you gave me, Aerie. <laughs> I have it here with me. I, I like left it in one of my pockets for a bit cause I like took it out with me and then I found it again. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> um, go, go town. I actually don't know that, that game. Go, go, wait, is that the one that kind of looks like Animal Crossing sort of Mary? I feel like I've heard of that one, but I haven't I haven't played it myself yet. I know, me too. I'm so excited. Cotton turned out so cute. I'm like actually kind of sad to say goodbye. I'm like excited for the next the next island to come, but sad because this island actually turned out really cute. And I'm just I'm happy with the turnout. I'm happy with um all the love that got put into it. And I know for a fact it's not gonna be my forever island because I want this one to be my forever island under milkweed as like the island name so yeah oh um wait how do we do that friendly reminder to switch to live chat instead of top chat friends yes we do have live chat i don't really know how that works on youtube but i think that um on youtube it's like a live chat i didn't know you could switch it to top chat i don't really know too much about that because i just heard about that this morning when i was watching somebody um it comes next month okay i'm gonna look it up right now i'm like i'm pretty curious about what you're talking about because i think it sounds familiar oh that's so exciting we can play this on stream okay i think this might actually be really fun to play on stream thank you so much for reminding me and letting me know i didn't know it was coming out next month have you thought of a name yeah i'm just gonna do milkweed <laughs> it's a little banner at the top of the chat okay perfect oh i see it okay yeah top chat live chat and then fan funding okay got it thank you so much thanks guys 
and also if you haven't liked the stream please please give it a little like for me it does help uh share it and um let me just figure out my controller i just got this new controller i showed it to you guys yesterday on on twitch but i i'm like still trying to figure it out so if i ever press something weird it's because i don't know how to use it yet because it's like all switched around with the home button and the screenshot button and everything <laughs> yeah it does look like a really cute game i would love to play it i would love to play with you guys it kind of reminds me like the graphics a little bit of garden galaxy which i love i love the graphics of garden galaxy oh my gosh i'm a little scared i think somebody put a note under my under my door so can i go check it really fast i'm like i'm a little scared i'm not sure if they heard me okay i'll be right back guys give me one second i don't i just need to see something really quick um brie entertain them please <laughs> nothing crazy it's just it was just for parking registration but i don't have a car i got a little scared because i don't know i thought maybe it was like my neighbor like maybe i'm being too loud <laughs> yeah the couch behind me is not comfortable it's so hard it's like hard as a freaking wooden board my mom got it for me well she gave it to me but she found it on the street in front of a building it was like brand new she like cleaned it up had it in her own apartment or like her own bedroom and then i needed like a couch when i didn't have the one i have now and then instead of like getting rid of it now we have it in this room because i get scared by things all no i got so scared i just heard like a whoosh, <laughs> like under my door i was like oh my god <laughs> andrew thank you so much for becoming a cafe patron i appreciate it <laughs> my little pillow i know isn't it so cute wait you guys can't see my i just realized you guys can't i thought we were in the gameplay mode right now <laughs> i didn't realize you guys could see me and everything behind me <laughs> um but yeah thank you so much andrew i appreciate that so much Aw, thank you, Amy. Thank you so much. How? Okay, so we're about to delete this island. I don't remember how to do it. Is it formatting options? Like, how do we delete an island? It's been so long. Um, is it data man? I think it's data management, right? Manage software. I'm so scared, you guys. Okay, so I still haven't filmed my island tour, but somebody told me that um, I can just visit my own DA, which like makes so much sense. Should I just do that? I mean, I I know I should I should have made that decision before I, I went live, but I'm like scared. Oh yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Um, add as moderator. Um, mm -mm. Okay, I don't know what this means. Manage block words and change chat. Okay, I'm just gonna put you as a standard moderator. I don't know how the, apparently there's two different mods now, which I didn't know. That makes so much sense. Okay, so I guess I guess we're gonna go ahead and just delete it. Also, the pillow is from Target, if you're wondering, Fuzzy. It is from Target. Um, I got it a while back as a gift and I love it. I'm about to delete the game. Wait, not the save data? Um, oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Wait, is it is it at the bottom? Is it at the bottom? Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, okay. Delete save data. There it is. Okay, perfect. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Bean. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so we are going to delete Animal Crossing. My, well, my island. We're deleting my island, not Animal Crossing. Whew. <laughs> it's fine. About the tour, the only issue could be that not all the villagers' house homes will be open. That's fine, too. That's totally fine. I don't think I'm going to tour the villagers' homes. I just wanted to keep whatever was there to be there. And, um, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm so scared. Um, it's okay. It's fine. We could do this. Oh, really? just wanted to mention in case of course Shayla thank you so much see the thing is like I would have done that but like I am too much in a hurry to like get this started 
so we're gonna do it. We're gonna delete the save data. We're saying goodbye. Is the music a good volume, by the way? Breathe. I'm breathing. <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, should we just... Should we put the volume down a little bit? <laughs> the way I'm, like, stalling. <laughs> Everybody say goodbye, Cotton. It's a smidge louder than you, but it's okay. Okay. I think I got it now. Thank you. End of an era, but I'm excited for the next one. Me too. <laughs> Me too. All right, it's happening, guys. I deleted Cotton. I deleted Cotton. Oh my god. I cannot believe we did this. I'm... Wow, okay. I know I've done this before, but Cotton was... Cotton was beautiful. I loved Cotton so much. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. This one is going to be even better. It's going to be a new chapter. It's going to be a new aesthetic. We're going to be doing like a vintage town kind of island, very overgrown. And then if anything, um, I might just flatten and do another theme, but I don't think I'm going to delete anything about it. Another thing that I haven't really considered too much is just kind of like the island layout and map. So we're just going to kind of feel for it. Um, I don't want to like put myself into a box of specific island maps because I'm going to terraform anyway. I think the only thing I really want to think about is just kind of like where my uh, resin services is. Like if I have enough space to like terraform around it or decorate around it and maybe like the peninsula or something. What time do you want to start the island? Oh, that's a good point, Frida. I didn't even think of that. Um, should we? So what do you mean by time? Do you mean like date or something? Hi, Nor. Welcome in. Wait, what did Andrew say? Let the five-hour island map search stream begin. <laughs> Please, Andrew. I We'll see. We'll see. I'm trying not to, like, limit myself too much. I'm just going to look at the way the maps come. And then I think I also do want peaches for this town because I actually really like the peaches, even though I was, like, very much like, oh, they're just so basic. Everybody wants peaches. I actually really like the peaches. So I think I'm going to keep the peaches as my town fruit. And I want a big peninsula and I just want like a really nice amount of space also I don't know about the southern facing like river mouths or if I should do one on the side like what do you guys think about that I will say when I reset I took like two hours fussing over maps okay <laughs> you know what I'm ready <laughs> this you know we can do that today it's fine if we take forever that's totally fine um I don't want to rush it because this is going to be like my forever island so I, I forever island I don't know if it's actually gonna be my forever island but I'm gonna hope for that you personally don't like to south facing river mouths is there a reason because I think a lot of people don't like it too and I never really thought too much of, actually I think that makes a good point I feel like south facing could be hard it could be a fun a fun challenge do I want a fun challenge for my last island <laughs> that is the question I definitely want there to be a canal somewhere on the island. Also, hi, Emmy. Welcome. <laughs> Do you want to be in spring? If not, you'd have to time travel and then mess it and it might mess up some things, but I don't know the way you want to play. Um, could I just change that right now or is that... Wait, let me just quickly time travel. Um, so I do want to make sure... I think we should be in 2024 right now. Um, let's see. Okay internet okay here it is date and time i do this every single day and i was in 2023 <laughs> what the heck um okay so we're gonna do sometime in autumn i actually really want to do autumn this time around because i'm thinking of doing like something more neutral i want things to look a little bit worn down it feels too crowded. I don't know how to put it. I feel like it makes the bottom area so small. Okay. All right. So we're going to do one at the bottom, one on the side. So we check that off in our little checklist. And I feel like the music is still kind of loud, but I don't know. If people are moving in and out, you'll have time to time travel linearly. Oh yeah, true. Hi, June. Welcome. Did I say hi to you before? I'm not sure. <laughs> I love the old milkweed with the golden grass in autumn. Yeah, I want to do something like that, I think. But I don't remember like how autumn looks during certain time periods. I feel like, is it early November? Like early 
November ACNH grass. I just want to see what it looks like because I don't remember like when it's red, when it's like a dark or light brown color. Um, I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm generally so sad about cotton. Mm. I think we're gonna do like early November. I think October 15th is so nice. It's still green, but soft. I feel like if I wanted a soft green though, I might just do March. But I kind of feel like I wanna do like something a little bit more like, um, maybe let's do, let's do just the first of November just to see what it looks like. And then from there we can, we can kind of play around with it a little bit. The way I stay on the first week of September in 2021, <laughs> Shayla, seriously. <laughs> the red trees to start around mid to late November. Okay, so I don't wanna do red trees. I wanna do more like yellow, I think. I was just lurking on a previous stream and saw that you're streaming now. Aw, this is my first time ever seeing any of your videos. I just wanna say you're such a light and I'm happy to be here, Jordan, thank you. That's so sweet, thank you so much. Welcome in, welcome to the stream today. This is also a really good stream to start off on because I'm restarting. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy, enjoy what we have going on today. Um, okay, I think this should be fine. If anything, maybe we can play around with like September later on. Um, but yeah. I think the two south facing can be a challenge because they kind of restrict how much you can decorate the sides of the island. Oh, okay, okay. That's a good point too. Oh my gosh, sorry, I gotta drink a little bit of coffee. Mm. Hi Hank, welcome. I get to stay home and watch the stream. Oh, I'm so sorry you're going through that right now, Hank. I'm so, so sorry. <clears throat> that sounds really painful. I hope you start to feel a little bit better soon. Welcome in though. I'm glad you can catch the stream today too. Hi too. I hope everyone's doing well. Is this really gonna be your final island? I think it is. I, I really want to make it so that I can like actually stay on an island. And like if I ever wanna change my aesthetic or something, like I can just flatten the island. I'll already have my DIYs. I'll have like my happy home paradise nice and complete. I don't wanna like have to redo that again. And I also really like my island name. I feel like milkweed definitely fits like into different kinds of aesthetics and like different um, town themes and stuff like that. So I would be, I think this would be like more ideal for me. And um, yeah, I'd prefer to do that over like having to restart. Even though I really do like a restart, I also prefer to just have all of my, my DIYs, my catalog, like it's so difficult to restart and not have any of that. So I'm definitely probably going to rely heavily on going to Treasure Island and stuff like that for this island just so I can get everything moving. And um, anyway, this is my first time here. And yeah, that's, that's the thing. That's what we're doing. I'm a lyric while I amiibo and Blair and control the flowers that have taken half of the island hostage. I haven't seen Phoebe in two days though. No. <laughs> Do you think maybe Phoebe's a little sick too? Maybe you can give her, uh, like if you haven't seen her, sometimes she'll like, like the villagers will be hiding when they're a little bit under the weather. It's nice to have one island to update. Yeah, cause I would have loved to do that for Cotton, but now I, I can't because I'm not really fully invested in the name Cotton, so. I think this is fine. Hi, Yasmin, how are you? I've never finished an island, so I'm trying this year to just play and do everything there is to do and actually complete the entire thing. Oh, that's nice. It's nice to actually play the game through and um, start, like I, I would have loved to do that, but I um, had polled before if you guys wanted to watch me play it slowly or if you think that I should just go ahead and go all out on an island theme and maybe push myself a little bit more and the latter one, so. <clears throat> that's why I'm not playing it slow <laughs> but I also do think that I'm a little broken now because I'm so used to like I'm so used to having everything already so I think I'll do the little pigtails I'm sure we'll have plenty of do-overs for my little my little face <laughs> 
her pigtails. Actually, I don't know if I can take the pigtails seriously. <laughs> I think I'll do... I think I'll do... the long hair. Got a little blush. Okay, we're good to go. Hi, Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> Oh, hi, Ali. How are you doing? I'm so glad you have a day off. Hi, Frankie. I think she's in the museum, but the Rainbow Garden has infiltrated the museum. So, uh, the Rainbow Garden. Oh, thank you. I know. I know. I miss the decorating streams. Although I have seen that Arjuni is doing them again. So I'm very excited to see like friends decorating their island. And um, who else? I, I was watching... Peyton's Corner this morning too and she's also like doing a cottagecore kind of like zombie island or something which I think sounds really fun um uh where do you live now North America hi Douglas welcome in hi Fran I learned all the cheaty face stuff early on and it ruined me still gonna do it but try to limit it oh the the cheaty like item stuff I'm so excited. She's so good at decorating. Yeah, she is. I know. Um, Arjuni is really good at decorating, if you mean Arj. Um, like, yeah. Sorry, I'm so distracted from the game. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size. Oh, okay, so this is where I get the map. We'll see what we get. Hey, Pitbull. <laughs> I'm breeding all the flowers and planted some in a rainbow outside the museum to help me track how many more I need and well lots of time travel oh yeah they spread like weeds in this game I really hope in the next game that they kind of cool it with that a little bit oh this one has a big peninsula at the front which I oh no this one's not that big this is a medium peninsula I kind of like this map a little bit but I don't like how close it is to the entrance and do I want a center airport? What do you guys think? Do you guys think it's better to have an airport at the center or to the side? I feel like I might do try to get one at the center. The first map with the little star shaped. I know. I was just I was just looking at it because of that. And then it also has like a really big chunky um peninsula which has a lot of great space for like a build or something but i think i might want to go for something that's a little bit more centered and then also an airport that's kind of a little bit further away i feel like for me distance is the key thing in the center yeah like how far far from the airport i like one far away to the side i don't mind i don't mind my uh residence services a little bit to the side but sometimes it is a little complicated too when it comes to decorating as well, like by the beach and stuff. I find that to be kind of hard because I don't know how to tie in like an airport or sorry, resin services to the beach, if that makes sense. Top right, but it's not perfect. Yeah, I think this might be like the best looking map, but I don't think, yeah, I don't think I'm going to go for that. So we're going to go ahead and just restart. I'm, I promise I'm not going to think too deep about it every time, but since this is the first one we're looking at, I'm like just kind of reintroducing my brain to maps again. <laughs> Hi, Gwen. How are you? So good to see you, Gwen. Mm, no compromises with the Forever Island. Exactly. Good morning, Megan. Welcome. Oh my gosh, I'm like a little bit sniffly today. Also, if you're just not popping in, don't forget to like the stream. It helps. Thank you. <laughs> All right, part two, second island map. I wish I had a little counter. I feel like it would have been really fun to have like a little island map counter for uh, the amount of times we've uh, looked into maps. How do you take your coffee, by the way? I think you mentioned you had some. Yeah, I'm having some right now. I'm just having a little cold brew with some milk and just one sugar. Like very simple, but also not too dark. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you back on YouTube. I don't like the Twitch interface, so I'm usually stuck here. Glad to catch the stream. Isaac, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining us. I think I'm going to start doing a little bit of multi-streams multi, multi -streams here and there. I'm um, 
possibly looking into how I do that, but the only one I'm seeing so far that isn't too rough on my, I think like my CP or like my computer is um, Streamlabs and that one is $20 a month. So I'm kind of like, maybe I can find a little bit more of an affordable option, but if it's the best option, I might just go for that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, Cause I, yeah, I'd rather just save a little bit of cash, but it would be really nice to be able to multi-stream so I can have like my Twitch chat and then I could also have my YouTube chat at the same time during certain streams. Mm, okay, sorry. I gotta learn how to do this simultaneously. <laughs> Thank you, Shayla. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like the stream, y'all. Hi, happy dude. How's it going? So good to see you here. Right. Oh my gosh, I keep doing that. There we are. Thank you, Amanda. I'm excited to be on YouTube too. I'm so stoked. I'm thinking of doing like one of my first videos back, like officially for a video. I'm thinking of doing a little bit of like a like a little office makeover or something. Hi, crybaby. I try to notify everybody as much as I could. On Twitch, I have it on my story. I have it on um, Discord as well. So Discord is a really great place to get notified, by the way, if you're ever wondering when I'm live. Um, so for Mondays, my streams start at 1 p.m. Eastern time, and then every other day, it's 12 p.m. over on Twitch. So tomorrow, I'll be live on Twitch at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Unless I do a multicast, which I might do maybe, maybe tomorrow. Um, okay. Wait, what am I doing? I like this, this little, um, this little outfit. What's your guys' favorite outfit at the beginning? I'm wanting peaches. I really want peaches. Um, I don't know how picky I'll be with the fruit, to be honest, but I'm like hoping for peaches and or pears, I think would be fine. I also do want a yellow airport, so I didn't even take that into consideration with the map. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, Gwen, thanks for listening in. I would love an office video. Yeah, my office definitely needs it. I actually... I keep mentioning this wallpaper that I have, um, but I really want to like paste up some wallpaper and I want to buy like this uh, kind of molding to sort of like break it up between because it's textured and it looks kind of like like the white wooden wall boards, you know, the ones that are vertical, except it's just wallpaper. And then I want to like add molding or something like a wooden border molding going across. Um, I don't know. I think that'd be a really cute little kind of like DIY and then everything else I want to build. So I'm thinking of like building a big, a big, um, just shelf going across in front of me. Yeah, I'm excited. Mm, what is that sound? Okay, this is fine. Okay. Mm The black and white striped shirt. Oh yeah, the sailor the sailor outfit's cute too. I like the black and white one too. It's a classic. With the fruit, you can always replant if you really love the map. That is true. That's true. Um, so I don't like I don't think I like any of these. This one's no, yeah, we don't like these. I gotta move faster. I'm so sorry. I gotta go faster. <laughs> okay. Island map number three. Let's go. Does the DA still exist when you delete the island? Yeah, it does still exist, even if you restart, which is the perfect, perfect reason to restart if you're uh, not in love with your island map, or sorry, island name. Even your map, actually. The blue shirt with the po white polka dots is Shake's head. What's that supposed to mean? You don't like that one? I know. I just want to rush through it just so I can get like the island, you know? This is only my third one, so I'm trying to trying to speed through. I would have loved to do the in-game sound, but my in-game sound is a little bit glitchy. So we're just going to do the YouTube music. 
Oh, you don't like it. <laughs> Aw, Heather, thank you. Hi, Linda. How's it going? Wait, actually, sorry. I don't mean to have you as a moderator. There we are. I fixed it for you. Sorry, Linda. <laughs> um, is this your first time? Yes, it is. Okay. How are you doing? I just started my, or restarted my island, so I'm, I'm joining the bandwagon of restarting right now. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Oh, hi, Doreen. Uh, so life update, I've moved back to New Jersey. Um, I lived with my dad for a while, like from when I moved to Germany back to the States. And um, I was mostly streaming on YouTube, or sorry, Twitch. And then I ended up getting like um, a full-time job, which I really didn't like, but it helped me find this apartment where I'm at now. And I moved here last June. It's been a kind of a huge change for me, but I'm also really happy just in our little apartment back at home, you know, someplace that we're familiar with. And yeah, I like really miss Germany a lot, but I'm happy to just, you know, still be still be kicking here online you know <laughs> just doing my thing and um yeah that's pretty much it honestly but um I was very much like MIA last year because I had that like full-time job and I was like very tired all the time I didn't feel like I had the energy to stream anymore so that definitely took a toll on me because you know I couldn't just do what I wanted to do and um no, I don't have my kitty right now, unfortunately. This apartment was, uh, it doesn't allow pets, so she's currently living with um, some family. So yeah, unfortunately, I don't have her anymore. And um, that makes me really sad, but if we do find another place, then I will definitely try to make sure that it's one that allows pets. And like we thought about talking to the landlady, but I don't think she's going to budge on that. So I'm like not too optimistic on it. And she also happens to live around here, so I'm kind of scared that, you know, like if I did have her here, she would be discovered looking out the window, and I feel like that's just not a way to live, you know? So, yeah, she's not living with me currently, but she is safe, yeah. She's safe, and she lives with two other cats currently. Mm, does that sound... yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah, my life is just a little bit chaotic or has been a little bit chaotic since I moved back because it's been like I said, I was living with my dad. And then um, during that time, like we were all pretty much like all squished into a one bedroom apartment trying to get by in, like a tiny kitchen, <laughs> always ordering takeout. It was not the most ideal, but I was also very grateful because I had a you know roof over my head and we were able to just get ourselves situated so that way we can find our own place. And it's been really nice. I like it. I like where I'm at right now. Oh my gosh, this is taking so this is taking a lot longer than I expected. <laughs> Just to find like one nice island map, you know. You can register your animal as an emotional support animal and your landlord would not be able to charge for pet rent or deny you of living there. Oh, maybe something to look into. Yeah, I heard about that and then I forgot. I literally just haven't like looked too much into it because I think, hang on. I know there's like websites and stuff like that that do it. I'm going to look into the registration just to see. The thing is, I don't want to be in like bad standing, but I would prefer to have like that discussion with her when the lease gets renewed. If I did have some sort of registration, I feel like that would be the perfect time to like mention it to her and actually have some sort of like, you know, backup for that. And the thing is like I do, um, not currently, like thank God they kind of stopped, but I was getting like really bad panic attacks uh, sometime like during last year through that job and just like overworking and stuff. So um, she was definitely an emotional support animal for me. And that was something I considered, but I didn't have like health insurance to look into maybe like getting, um, you know, doctor paperwork and stuff like that. My German Shepherd is a certified support animal and I haven't had any issues with landlords. Um, so to that, I like have 
do they have any like restrictions when it comes to your pets and stuff? You seem to have a really good relationship with the landlord, so I don't think it'll hurt to try. I know, I do. Yeah, we we get along. Um, she's a she's a pretty great landlord, landlady, I guess. Um, I would say. I mean, there's limits there, but we we're like pretty chill, so <laughs> I think it's you know it doesn't hurt to try at least and have some of that to back me up. Also, hi Carissa, thank you so much for mentioning it though, Jordan. That really does help a lot, um, you know, especially because it was something I was looking into last year and then I, I don't know, I just got so like preoccupied with life and like figuring out how to leave my job. My, why does that keep happening? My last job, um, I had to leave during like an emergency medical situation with my wisdom tooth. And um, yeah, during that time, it was like a lot. It was a lot of stuff to deal with. Hi, Megan. Wait, did you say you're, you're all? Do you already know which map you want or not exactly? I don't exactly know. I just kind of have an idea of like where I want placements to go in terms of like my, um, my airport, my peninsula. I want it to be the, the big peninsula. I've just always wanted a big peninsula. So I'm like going to try for that. And then we'll see we'll see what I can get <laughs> okay so this one this one I don't like this I don't like this outfit <laughs> my daughter has her cat as support animal she didn't have any issues her doctor filled out paperwork okay that's good to know I also saw that they have like online services too so if you don't have a doctor you could always go online and like talk to a professional that like can hook you up with Oh my god, I'm gonna try to look for this resource, but somebody had sent it to me like last year and I don't know what happened to that. I need to look for it. You just have to provide the certification and maybe a note from a doctor saying that they are prescribing an emotional support animal for anxiety slash panic attacks if you struggle with still struggle with that. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you for the advice, guys. Really does mean a lot. Especially because I genuinely miss her so much and um yeah, I would just love to live with her again. I would love to have her here. And she was just such a, you know, she was our little part of our little family. So um, I was just hoping that maybe we could find an apartment sometime that will accept us with our pet. But that is a good option to try to look into. Sorry, I'm just writing down some notes here so I don't forget what you're saying. <laughs> That's your outfit. I'm sorry. Almost wore it yesterday with my silly eyes. <laughs> I'm like a little sweaty right now, guys. Sorry. I'll keep wiping my face because of that. Sorry, not trying to be bossy. No. Oh my gosh. Don't. Don't be sorry. I genuinely needed that reminder. I, like I said, I've been wanting to figure out a way. Like Stephen and I were thinking of just talking to her when we were signing the lease again. But part of me was like, I'm so scared. She's just going to say no and it's not going to happen. And um, I hope that like our cleanliness kind of makes up for the fact that like, you know, we, she doesn't like pets and stuff like that. Cause, um, the last tenants she had in this apartment were not very clean and everything was like very much gunky and whatnot. So, um, I'm hoping that that kind of makes up for it and, you know, in her thinking around all of that stuff. Hi Esme, welcome. That is actually why hers is a support animal. Okay, good to know. Thanks, guys. The fees that landlord charges for pets can be very high. In the case of animal support, you won't pay the pet fees. Yeah, I heard. Um, also, hi, Fran. Welcome in. I don't know if you accidentally typed in, but hi. <laughs> hi, Mary. Hi, Anna. I'm doing well, just, you know, hanging in there. It's so weird to see your profile pictures in chat <laughs> versus just a username. It's so uh, tough that it's it's rare to have landlords that accept pets nowadays. I don't know why, to be honest. I mean, I get it. Like, they're scared maybe of their property getting destroyed, maybe some damages and things like that. Um, but I feel like that's something that should be, like, case by case. Like, you should have references of, like, maybe previous landlords or um, at least maybe build a report with them, like have them come over, check your house and stuff like that. You know, like something that's a little bit more 
on the neutral side because every other apartment here has pets like we have um one cat on the second floor and then there's like on the you know first floor there's a cat there there's two cats there too so everybody else has pets except for us and it makes me <laughs> i feel so left out and every time i see like our neighborhood cats and stuff i always just end up like i don't know i always end up missing my own cat my baby <laughs> Yeah, case by case would be better. Honestly, if you get the certification slash doctor note and bring us up before your lease is up, um, they literally cannot do anything about that, at least in the state I live. Maybe in New Jersey is the same. Maybe. I think I think it is the same in New Jersey. I, I'm going to look into it just to be 100% sure, but I think it's also the same for, uh, for this state too. Why does that keep happening? I keep writing Diane's. I don't know why that keeps happening when I try to try to type my name out okay here we are oh it's snowing stay safe get home safe if you're going back home right now I never uh, think to change your profile picture it must be at almost 10 years old <laughs> oh. mm, the endurance of many other people are missing the ability to connect as humans anymore so it may be refreshing to have that conversation with your landlord and have them Remember, you're not just to pay. I know, and I don't bug her. I I rarely bother my landlady, like, at all. I always try to, like, you know, give it time. If, like, I do need something, then I'll, like, kind of hit her up. But usually I, I don't bug her for anything. So I hope she understands. And it's just a little cat. What's she going to do? <laughs> My rental contract and landlord said I wasn't allowed to have pets, but after living in my apartment for a couple months, I asked and he was fine with it. Oh, that's so nice, Isaac. I'm so glad. That's really nice that they were able to do that. And it makes more sense once they like get to know you a little bit better and like understand that you're willing to, you know, upkeep everything and that nothing is going to be like messed up after you stay there. You know, I, I don't know. I just feel like they should wait a little bit before making that concrete decision of no, you can't. Mm, yeah. Where we live, they not only charge a one-time pet fee, they also charge a deposit up front. Plus some places charge a monthly fee also. It is so expensive. Yeah, that is so exp I don't know why that's become like the norm nowadays. Like it's, it's not like rent isn't, you know, cheap as it is. It's already so expensive. And then they're charging an extra 150 for having a pet. Oh, this this map is really cute. Oh, but it has the two south facing river mouths. Oh, I liked this one. Look at the little heart pond in the back. Um, this one no, this one no, this one no. Okay. I don't know how I'd feel about having the two south facing rivers though. I know, the harpon is cute, but I'm gonna terraform anyway, so try it maybe. My husband and I are in military housing. They only allow two pets now. It was three when we moved in, so part of me wants to be sassy and get a third anyways. I would have 10 dogs if allowed. <laughs> I love animals too. I feel like your quality of life goes up when you have a pet. As long as people keep the place clean, my sister used to rent a place that allowed pets and she had a dog they, that hated it. There, wait, they hated it there because cat fur from the previous tenant was on everything. I mean, that is valid, but like clean the place, you know? I am always, I'm like very meticulous when it comes to like cat fur too. Should I try it? That's a lot of people's favorite island. Um, There's always terraforming you could water escape. I mean, I just really like everything else about it. Um, You know, besides the little heart pond, which is really cute. I do like that it has like a good kind of central airport and then you have a good amount of space into the resident services. And then you also have like a big, a big peninsula. We should try it. Okay, we can try it. Okay, let's try it just to see. That's the island Kato wants, really? The airport isn't lined up there. Oh, does she want like a lined up airport? I don't really mind too much about that, honestly. Cotton is gone. Cotton is long gone, Gwen. <laughs> we we said goodbye yesterday. <laughs> okay, so if it has peaches and a yellow airport, I will stay here. 
Cats can also scratch up wallpaper or curtains if you have them, but you can always pay for any damages. I mean, the thing is like, I, everything that I have in this apartment, I own. It didn't come furnished. So like, the only thing that I have, I guess, that was already here were the, um, what's it called? The, the blinds. But like, they were from the previous tenant, so she just kind of left them here, which really helped. But everything else, like if I damage my furniture, that's on me. You know what I mean? So it shouldn't matter. I mean, I've lived with my cat. I know how she is. So I know that like she'll want to maybe like scratch if she doesn't have a scratching post or something, which I would definitely get for her. Scratching post. And I would really want to splurge in one of those robotic um, like litter boxes. But those are really expensive. Oh my God, every time. Those are really expensive. The way my stream reminded to when you were deleting cotton. Oh, <laughs> Gwen, I was so confused. <laughs> Welcome back, Gwen. <laughs> Loved Colin. Can't wait to see what this new island. I know, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This island is going to be very, very different. We got pears. Actually, I'm not against the pears. If we have a yellow airport, I might compromise with that. Don't be embarrassed. That happens to me too. <laughs> that happens to me too. You didn't say anything bad. <laughs> oh, we got an orange airport. Do we like the orange airport? Are we okay with orange airports? They can also scare kitties or like what if it turns on with, with them in it? Oh, I've never heard anything about that before. My resident service is a little off to the side, but plenty of space to decorate a green airport and oranges. Oranges is my favorite fruit. However, the rest of the island map is so nice. Is nice, so yeah. Um, I don't mind if it's not lined up personally. I'm like okay with it. You normally go for yellow or green? You kind of like it, but prefer yellow. It's nice for fall. I do agree that it is nice for fall. I say keep going. I wish mine was an orange. I've had orange before and I wasn't happy about it. Yeah, let's do let's let's do a restart. Okay. Thanks guys. I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be bad for milkweed. That's so true, B. If I do get an island that has like maybe peaches and everything else, and it just happens to be orange, like maybe I would be okay with orange. I do like green. Um, I feel like orange is a little different. Yours is orange and you ended up not liking it. That happened to me too before. But I I feel like my my taste in islands always changes. Like I didn't like peaches for a while and now I love them. <laughs> I hereby bestow my curse blessing onto you. <laughs> you don't like yellow? Hi, Tori. Aw, <laughs> how are you doing today? It's nice to see you. This is literally pr pretty similar to my current island, but I had cherries and then completely changed the terraforming. Cherries are cute too. I didn't like cherries for a very long time and now I like peaches and cherries. Like what is wrong with me? <laughs> yeah, the way I get mad when I get cherries in a green airport. I feel like that's a weird combo though. I think like maybe orange and cherries or yellow and cherries could kind of work. But green and cherries is kind of random to me. I don't know. Unless you're doing maybe like a Christmas one, like a Christmas island, you get like green and red. <laughs> I love the cherries as a starter fruit because I I love the cherry speaker DIY. Oh, that one's really cute. I love the pear uh, wardrobe. I don't know if that's what it's called. It's like the little closet. The little, oh my God, the little closet. It keeps happening to me. I keep forgetting where my plus is on my controller. Preference for starter flowers? No, I don't really care about that because that you could like actually change. So that's fine. And also I know that the starter flowers depend on your birthday. So like I can't really change too much about that. I always get lilies as my starters um, just by coincidence. But I know that that also has to do with my birthday gonna do little sleepy eyes this time
My favorite is Orange Airport Apple's Mom's and Date in late September. Oh, that sounds really pretty. That's a good combo. I like that. Wait, are there red airports in this game or no? I don't know why I can't remember a red airport. I know there's a blue one. Green and cherries are perfect for a spring. Oh, that's a good point too. That's a good point too. Like if you did a, a spring core and then maybe like added a ton of different colors and stuff. No red airport, what? I never thought of that before, but I just realized there's no, there's no red airport. I feel like red is a really good basic color, but honestly, I, I probably would never go for a red airport. <laughs> Um, I would go for like a white one if they had a white or even a black airport would be really nice. I got the exact map, fruit, and airport I wanted. I, want, I was so lucky. That's awesome. Do you still have that island or did you restart it? Oh, this one's not bad, but I don't like. Okay, yeah. Nope. Nope, we're not doing that. A pink airport. That would be so cute. We need the ability to customize any color. I know! They were so close with Happy Home Paradise. I don't understand why they didn't just give us the customization for the buildings, too. Brown airport. Brown. Wooden airport. Themed airports. Themed airports! <laughs> give us some themed airports! <laughs> And like the resident services. Oh, that would have been so nice. What if in the next one they have they have different type trees? Oh, I would love, I would love a willow tree. Or like the big giant town tree. Same for the freaking other building and resident services. I know, <laughs> right? Even like for the museum, I'm so tired of that museum. I do not like the museum. I'm kind of thinking of keeping the museum as a tent. But I don't know because it's my forever island, so I don't know if I don't know how long I can keep that up for, but I can try. I can try my best. Please just let us choose any color to anything in the new game. I know you guys. I okay, so this is kind of like a little dramatic, like a little dramatic wish of mine, but I really want them to make this game look a little bit more forested. Kind of like, wait, I want to show you guys because. I was watching Arjuna stream the other day and she was playing Tears of the Kingdom and I was like, what if Animal Crossing looked like this? I need you guys to see, I, I need you guys to envision, just see the vision with me because I think it would be so majestic if we just got an actual forest for Animal Crossing. Obviously like still in the same like chibi graphics, you know, I still want my villagers to be like short and big headed, but I would love, wait, let me try to show it to you guys. I don't know if I can. Hang on. Is it not showing up? No. Wait, I'll show it to you guys. My other screen. Oh, not that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Here it is. Is it this one? Wait, not that. There it is. Wouldn't this just be an amazing concept? Like, bigger trees, more shade, a lot of foliage, little houses, like, tucked between the trees. I think it would be beautiful. I know it wouldn't, like, necessarily be exactly very... Like, make it Animal Crossing, you know? Like, marry the two together. I feel like that would be so nice if they just, like, did that for us. I would be so happy. My biggest regret was deleting my island when I had the brown slash smaller, not the tent museum. Oh yeah, that one. I think my first DA that I have is um is with like that old museum still. My first DA. That idea you're talking about and then more space, that would be phenomenal. Oh yeah, like a bigger islander town. I would love that. I would love the, for them to go back to the forest theme. I, I like island theme, but I like that. I prefer that for something that's outside of my town. You know, like that's what I want. I want them to give us a town back and like maybe a little city area or something or I don't know or different biomes of course that's always a good choice if only a marriage exactly a marriage if you will blush 
We need like an Animal Crossing New Leaf Wild World and GameCube remastered. It would look so pretty with that. I know. I... Okay, so have you guys heard of like the fact that um, Nintendo just renewed their trademark for their GameCube controller? Did you guys hear about that? Because I'm kind of thinking like... <clears throat> or a lot of people are talking about how they might bring GameCube to M NSO. And like obviously that's speculation, but like wouldn't it be so cool if they gave us Animal Crossing GameCube? Where the heck is it? My music. Here we are. Right? Isn't that interesting? Why are they doing that? GameTube two uh GameCube 2 confirmed. I would love for them to give us GameCube. Give us give us like a remastered well, that's separate, like a remastered uh, Wind Waker, but even if they just gave us the original Wind Waker, I would be happy. I don't like this. I don't like this outfit at all. Here we are. <sighs> Maybe we can ask an AI generated to make it AC a bit more foresty just to see what it looks like. I mean, we don't even have to look that far off. I feel like the very first Animal Crossing looks so foresty. Like if you just look back to the older games, it was definitely a different vibe, I think, than like what we're getting currently. The hair is hairy. I'm just, I just uh, dried it. So it's like, it's falling with my hair clip. So I just put it down instead. The lead designer for the new controller with the multiple screens really makes me think we might get a remastered new leaf. Wait, what do you mean? A lead design for the new controller? What are we talking about? Wait, B, where did you see that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I feel like a separate city slash town area would be so cute, but maybe a bit more small towny. I think it would be nice if they there was like a way to incorporate the buildings and like make your own city without like taking away from maybe the town. I don't know. The only thing I didn't like about New Leaf, I mean, I think New Leaf is perfect for what it was. It was definitely a perfect game during that time. Um, but I think the only thing I didn't like about it is the fact that like we couldn't customize like the placement of the shops and stuff like that. So if we could just, you know, be able to do that, like just kind of change where everything is or the placement of like the city area, that would be really awesome. Obviously for this game, like I, I think it was perfect for New Leaf, but if we were to bring it back into the, the game again, I would prefer it so that we could like customize that city, if that makes sense. Thank you, Shayla. Yeah, the Discord link is in chat right now. We don't have any commands currently. Thank you so much, Shayla. I appreciate it. I miss the aesthetic of that game. If we had New Horizons gameplay slash graphics with OG AC theme. I know. I love the old the old theme. I liked... I also like New Leaf, honestly. I think New Leaf was like a really good um, kind of balance between the two with like the... Um, Oh, wait, this is the map from Tea Tree. This is Tea Tree map. I'm getting so nostalgic, but we're not we're not going to take it. We're going to keep going. Do you ever fully complete the encyclopedia? I don't that's not really usually my goal, but I might do that for this one since it's my <laughs> the top left. That's my map. Wait, really, Gwen? Yeah, it's a good map. I like it. It's a good map. I love New Leaf, but the fact that you had to take uh, to tan to darken the player's skin is something I'm glad they got. Oh yeah, me too. That's like a uh, customization that really needed to be um, implemented. I'm actually shocked they didn't have that in New Leaf. As somebody that didn't get to play New Leaf, I, you know, yeah, I didn't get to play New Leaf. I used to tan in Wild World. <laughs> that I do remember very specifically. You've abandoned it though. Listen, Gwen, I'm here for you to come back. I will welcome you with open arms back into New Horizons. Oh, um, the link. Oh, thank you. I didn't see. Is Wait, is it still actually in the chat? I don't know if it's in the chat. Yeah, I don't see it. Where did you, where did you find a bee? So maybe I can look for it on my own. Is it from like a specific, um... 
Like, was it online or something? And also, was it recent? Like, was that something that just came out? Because I don't think I saw that. Nintendo requested a new patent in October and it has multiple screens. Oh, wait, I don't see it, B. I think it might just be a moderation or something that's not letting you post it. Because I don't see it on my end. Maybe, maybe on Discord? I can like, I can pick it up from Discord. I think I'm within two fossils of finishing Hazelnut's fossil exhibit. Do you mean Hazel's? Patera Body and Jeremiah, I think. <laughs> Good luck. I hope you can find it. If you Google the new pan, it'll come up. I'm so sorry. No, you're not distracting me. Thank you so much for sharing that. I want to look into it. I always love looking into Switch 2 stuff, so. <laughs> okay, so new patent Nintendo controller. I also heard that like a lot of the patents and stuff that they'll have often will just be there because they thought about having the technology, but um, they don't necessarily like plan on using it, if that makes sense. So like they've ex like created it, but they just don't want to actually like go forth with it as a final plan. So just during their planning process and all of that, they'll like make different prototypes of things and then they'll like it. So maybe that's why they're saving it, but not necessarily because they're going to use it, if that makes sense. So I'm curious to know like what it looks like, but I, I think that it's not necessarily something that'll come up. That's at least what I've heard. That's what I've heard. <laughs> but, um, I would love to see a dual screen switch to like, I would genuinely love that. Oh, the island is named Hazelnut. Okay. <laughs> she was named after the s starter sister leave that I booted once I got her photo. Whoops. No one tell Kato. <laughs> Hazel's cute. Sorry. I thought you were talking about a villager. No, don't be sorry, B. It's okay. Let me go ahead. Thank you, Mary. Don't forget to like the stream if you haven't yet. Sorry, I'm so distracted. I just really like chatting when I'm when I'm playing Animal Crossing. I don't just play, I chat a lot. So um, please bear with me. <laughs> bear with me in my chattiness. Hi, Lori. I keep daydreaming of Nintendo announcing the new system with the new AC launch title. It's free to dream. Danny, I would be so happy if they surprised us with an Animal Crossing release or even if they gave us the GameCube, like if they actually added GameCube games to the NSO with a uh, Switch 2 drop, I would be so happy. I'm not blonde, okay. Should I do black hair? I always feel like black is a little too dark. Like I want something in between. <laughs> this is a little too light, but this is also a little too dark. Let's see. Give us a color wheel, Nintendo, please. Let us be any color we want to be. Oops. I feel like we're on FaceTime and playing together. Aw. <laughs> I'm glad you feel like you're on FaceTime with me. <laughs> we're just hanging out. Wait, if the Switch is going to be like the DS and the same size as it's, it is now, that's going to be so bulky. I heard that no i'm not going blonde <laughs> i did it once by mistake i don't want to do it again one time i was trying to go for a medium brown color and my hairstylist left me blonde and i absolutely hated it <laughs> no offense to natural blondes or anyone that goes for blonde it doesn't look good on me that's all i'm gonna say if you can imagine me blonde like <laughs> we know it does not look good on me I look good in pink though pink hair looks really good on me I had pink hair for a while it was very flattering I had like a like a golden um it was like a rose gold pink so nice oh I like this one but I don't like it so never mind I wish that they had a brown that wasn't so reddish I know even the brown between red brown and the black is too red for my hair. I totally agree. I want them to be like have more ashy colors too. Do you have a favorite month to decorate in? I think it honestly depends on the theme. For my last theme, I did like a forest core and I did March, like early March time. 
So I saved my DA on the 9th of March and that one um, was like a pastel kind of green color. So I really liked it. But for this one, I'm definitely gonna do more of like a golden kind of time of the year. So it really just depends on like what I do with my theme. Yeah, I did have pink hair. Girl, you should go pink again. I would if it if it wouldn't leave me with like three three pelitos in my hair. I had, I'm gonna have three three hairs left on my head from all the bleaching. I can't do that. I think I'll wait until I go fully white, like with my age, and then I'll just be a grandma with like pink hair. I remember watching you on YouTube with your pink hair. Mm. I miss my pink hair, but it was not good for my scalp. I remember one time I went to the salon to bleach my, my roots and it was so painful. But not only was it painful, they also like put a lot of force with their hands. It was like this this guy he had like really big hands. And he was just like, like while I was already in pain. And I remember like after that, my scalp started to peel. And I don't know if that caused other issues with my scalp health but ever since then my scalp has not been the same so if I ever do like pink I, I might do it with like um like a balayage but I'll never go fully pink again unless I had to just like white hair and I wanted to go bold or something <laughs> yeah I'm sorry that oh no it's okay guy was trying to crack your skull I know <laughs> gosh I'm pretty sure I lost IQ points that day I was in so much pain, you guys. I don't know. And I was like really young. So I didn't say much because I was intimidated by this man on my head. Anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> Why does this keep happening with my name? I had to pay for it. Yeah, it was like hundreds of dollars, y'all. I feel like I shouldn't have paid. I mean, I didn't know any better. I was like so young when that happened. I'm mad at myself for it. That guy, this brain needs oxygen, opens your skull. <laughs> Dance. I don't know why that keeps happening. I'm a little sweaty right now, y'all. I think I might change out of this sweater. I have my window open and everything, but it's like genuinely so hot in here. <laughs> I'm loving my natural hair because my grays give me a nice highlight. Ooh, <laughs> love that for you. I'm just liking my natural hair because I think it's what suits me best, but I also really like pink a lot. Yeah, hairdressers are really expensive nowadays. A haircut now costs like $100. I just don't cut my hair anymore. I want to learn how to cut my own, like trim my own hair, but um, maybe once in a while I'll go to a hairdresser. The number of times I've almost named myself Gank, I get it with the name <laughs> Gank. I don't know what it is. I think it's because of like the controller is very sensitive. So like it will just go the wrong way. You see that? It keeps happening even like with the... I hope that's not early drift. Oh. Oh no. I also cut my bangs. They're growing out right now too. <laughs> I went through that. Also, but they're finally growing out, thankfully. Doanna. Wait, did I do? Oh my gosh, you scared me, B. I thought I wrote Doanna. <laughs> Where do you all live? I'm a hairdresser in here in the Netherlands. It's 35 euros for a cut. Yeah, here in the States, haircuts can go upwards of like $100 easily. Yeah. So if you want to make good money, you can come here as a hairdresser and charge the big bucks. Yeah, it's expensive. But hey, it's worth it when you have a good a good hairdresser. Um, <clears throat> my boyfriend is planning on learning to cut my hair so I don't have to go to a salon, maybe ask Steven. <gasps> Could I trust Steven with, with a pair of scissors? I don't know. I had natural white blonde hair now as an adult. It's a moussey dark blonde slash light brown. I tried to embrace the darker color for years, but it's that stupid blonde identity thing. So now I highlight. I think that that sounds like a beautiful color, the dark blonde slash light brown. I think it's so, so pretty. 
And I think you should embrace it because people, people pay a lot of money. I mean, obviously it's your choice if you want to highlight your, but if you ever wanted to save on money, just know you're still going to look good. So don't feel too bad about the change. I miss you so much. I've been using, using your old videos as inspo. I'm so glad you're back. Hi, CH. Welcome back. Steven's in chat. Look, he has a little clump profile picture. <laughs> I spent $115 for my haircut with Tip in New York City. Yeah, that's Steven. He invests in a little, oh, he gets a little scalp massage too. And um, honestly, I think that that's worth it with your hair though, because you have like really thick, straight hair. And every time you try to find like a, just like any regular hairstylist, they don't know how to cut your hair, hun. You could try to teach me, but I don't know if I, I don't know if I would trust myself cutting your hair. <laughs> I've always been blonde. I'm so scared of hurting my thin hair. Just don't touch it too much with all of the um, bleach and stuff, guys. Be careful. Well, to the scalp. Be very careful with your noggin. It's very painful. During COVID, I try to cut my fiance's hair and traditionally guy hair is so stressful to cut. Oh yeah, it's very short. My, na uh, my natural hair color is that silly old money aesthetic. Oh my gosh, I... That TikTok trend is so funny to me. <laughs> old money. How to look like old money. Give me that old money brown. Old money dark blonde. Man. I don't know what old money looks like, to be honest. I don't even live around old money. So I sit here with my cup of coffee, enjoying life. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Um, student discounts are awesome. Gwen, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Gwen, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> okay. Let's focus on my... Oh my god. Hello. Don't tell me this is already starting to drift right now. Are you kidding me? I will fight. I will literally fight. I just got this controller this weekend. That is something I really hope they fix in the new technology for the controllers is the drift. Because what in the world? I never had that issue during like GameCube. What are you confused? Did I say something confusing? I'm trying to say I'm, I'm not rich, okay? That's what I'm trying to say, Gwen. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I am drinking cold brew. Maybe I can send you a few cans of my family's new canned cold brew. Oh, that's so, oh, that's awesome, Jordan. Honestly, I would be down for that if you ever wanted to. I'm always down to try new coffee. Steven and I are always, um, do they have like a website or something that I could check out? You could pop it on Discord too. There's like a self promo area, uh, section, but it would be the best place for me to like check it out. So that way I can like, you know, look at, look at the, um, the website and not lose it. I just didn't understand the, oh, the TikTok reference. Oh, okay, okay. It really is silly that the Joy-Cons are so prone to drift, right? My GameCube never did that. Hello, my name is Drift. I'm here to stay and pester you forever and ever more. I can't be fixed. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Drift. N nice to meet you. I'm frustrated. I'm here to stay and pester you forever and ever more. <laughs> It's kind of a hassle, but you can ship the Joy Cons to Nintendo for free. I know. You're so right, Raymond. The the one, honestly, like my my actual Joy Cons that I have on my Switch right now, they're fine. I don't have any issues with them. I mostly play like docked, so I'll have the controller. So this one that I have here recently just got all messed up. So then um now I have this one, thanks to Gwen. But my my new Joy Cons, I have like the pastel one, so I don't have any issues with that. Almost done. I'll send a link in the Discord when it's finished. Yay! I'm excited. Congrats and also good luck with all of that. That sounds really exciting and like a really fun business to be a part of. Honestly, I love coffee. I'm drinking, um, what am I drinking right now? La Cologne. Cold brew. But I really also want to make my own cold brew at home just to kind of like, you know, save a little bit of money or, you know, be resourceful with, with what we have, I think. Uh, what, what theme am I going for now? I'm going for like a vintage overgrown town kind of theme. Oh, I kind of like this one. Oh, but this one's, this is the same one as before with the double south facing and the heart pond. 
Why do I keep like, why do I keep getting that one? Yeah, it is easy. Oh, blush, sorry. <laughs> I already restarted. I had them lose a Joy-Con in the mail once. They did refund me so I could buy a new one, but I couldn't sw uh, play Switch for a month. Ooh, and that's something I'm not, that's a risk I'm not willing to take. I couldn't resist. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a yellow airport and peaches this time. Maybe. Maybe next time. Wait, goose? Oh, the goose in the map, yeah. <laughs> we had a we had a little goose map. With the egg, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Solar. Welcome in. Yeah, I, I need to I need to actually try. Like I have some coffee right now uh, for espresso because we have a, an espresso maker for the stove top, and that's great and all. But I can't stand having to clean it every single time just for one latte. Like you have to take out the grinds and then clean the entire thing and then make sure that it's all nice and dry. Um, I mean it's nice, but it can definitely be a hassle. So I kind of want to have like bigger batches of coffee, so I can just you know have it ready. And on the go and then the one I currently get right now is like eight dollars so it's kind of expensive yeah you should Gwen you should try I use an AeroPress for mine and it has saved me so much money and it's super easy to rinse I okay so the reason why we don't use that is because I believe Steven told me once that it doesn't have a um oh my god this already has dripped you guys what in the world should I dig into my recycling and take the box out and put it, send it back to Amazon? <laughs> because why is this already drifting? That's actually crazy. What was I gonna say? What was I saying before? Oh, um, so the air, I think the AeroPress, like if it's the front, oh, it's not the French press, right? The one that's like glass and then you like push it down or something. It doesn't have a filter, so um, I think it like has oils or something or it's just not good for you. I think something like that. It's the plunger thingy. It has a filter. Okay, okay. So maybe it was another one that Steven was talking about. There's like a, I think it's a French press or something, but I don't know if AeroPress is something else. But it didn't have a filter or it's not as filtered and it's like not the best way of drinking coffee or something. Um but it could, it could totally be something different. That's one of our goals, keep prices reasonable since inflation is just insane now. $8 for coffee is so sucky. Oh, I mean, like the one I have is um, like a full on like thing. Like it's a, you know, it ha I think it has like around maybe five or six servings. I don't drink like a full serving every time. I always just kind of like dilute it with milk and stuff. Um, but you gotta make money. You know, if your coffee is good, you should price it accordingly. I just think it's kind of ridiculous. Like when you go out and get yourself like a little latte and it's this small and it costs $6, which is like an entire gallon of milk or something, you know, like that is mind blowing to me, you know? And in, in uh, when I was in Germany, I think a, a latte that small is like maybe 199 euros or something. I've heard that about the French press too. Hi, Dala. Yeah, it yeah, it's something about the uh, the filter is not the best for you. I don't know if it's like the oils in the coffee or something isn't getting filtered. I don't I don't really know. Dude, I'm getting the world's suckiest maps ever right now, and it's so sad. I'm so sad right now. What's going on? Maybe maybe deleting cotton wasn't a good idea. I think the plunging one is what we call a Cafeteer. I like coffee, but I have to w have um to have weak coffee. Strong coffee if hurts your stomach. Oh yeah, I like I like weak coffee. Mine right now is getting stronger because back then I used to get like really jittery. I can't have that Italian coffee. That's like an every Lavazza coffee. That one gets me so. Yeah, that one gets me so like jittery and my heart starts racing cotton watching from beyond <laughs> hi lexi 
Hi, Lexi. Did you just come in right now? Something about cholesterol. Can't really remember either. Something like that. I don't know. Hi, tingling. Oh, <laughs> good to see you, friend. I love coffee, but I'm lactose intolerant, so I have to get a specific milk. Oat milk is always a good alternative, too, if you can drink oat milk. That's, that's what we do here. Oat milk. Any yolk, honestly. Some people really like almond milk, too. French pressed coffee is best black, but eat a dessert with it. The flavors complement it, and that'll make it easier on the stomach. Oh, that's good to know, Carissa. I actually don't mind black coffee with, like, enough sugar. <laughs> In Colombia, oftentimes, like, we'll have... We call it tinto, and it's, it's basically just black coffee with like hot black coffee with a little sugar and they have it with literally everything like later at night and stuff like that. Um, it's just the way they like drinking it over there. And I don't mind it. It's not my preferred method of drinking coffee because I'm such a baby, but it actually doesn't taste too bad. Coffee is life. I literally cannot live without it. So yes, I started my day with two shots of espresso and just finished an energy. Oh my gosh, Jordan, are you okay? Are you okay, Jordan? <laughs> Are you all right? I love oat milk in my coffee. I specifically love oat milk with my tea. Like that's my go-to for me personally. I like having it with my tea. I Oh, these are actually kind of cute eyes with this hairstyle. Maybe we'll do this just to change it up a little bit if we can actually land on an island for once. I've been lurking here and there. I'm, out, I'm laying here after working out. Oh, how's the workout? How are you feeling? I hope you're feeling okay. I enjoy light roast black coffee. I have a hazelnut one that's so... Oh, that sounds really nice. I love hazelnut anything. Coffee tastes and smells wonderful, but my stomach just hurts every time I drink it. So I um, have... I've stopped drinking it. All oh, that... My mom suffers from the same thing, I think. Like something about, well, I don't know if it's the same thing you have, but she has like this acid kind of thing where it's like she can't have too much of like tomatoes and like coffee and stuff like that. What kind of island are you looking for? I really just want an airport that's like somewhere in the center, like at the center of the island. And then I want a big peninsula and I want enough space in front of my airport. But I don't care if it's like aligned. I also, wait, not my airport, my, uh, my resident services. I don't want it to be like too close to the beach too. I just joined as Anna for real looking for a map since an hour right now. Yeah. We've mostly just been chatting today. <laughs> oh, this one's not bad. I don't mind this one. This one might be a good option. It has a big peninsula. Also, this one might not be too bad. It also has a little bit more space like next to resident services, but I think I prefer this one. What do we think? You like it a lot? Okay, we can try. Alkaline water. Yes, yeah, she does drink that. I didn't know it helped though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell her about that. I start my morning with herbal caffeine-free tea. I miss when I could tolerate caffeine. Oh, I'm sorry, Boomy. I'm sorry. May I, may I always be able to tolerate caffeine? Because I, I generally feel like I need it. <laughs> Bottom left is very central. Oh, I didn't even see the secret beach. I didn't even look at it. That's always like the last thing on my mind, honestly. Also, hi, Claire. Welcome. If I didn't say hi to you yet, hello. The workout was good, was hard, but I pushed through and I'm feeling much better this, than this weekend. I'm so glad, Lexi. I'm so, so glad. That's nice that you're um, feeling better and also energized enough to get through a workout right now. I'm less stressed and anxious now. Oh, that's good, that's good. That's very good. They also have um, drinks that are similar to coffee which I don't know if it would be anything that you would enjoy, but obviously like if you wanted to, you could always, I mean, can you drink like green tea or matcha? There was this one coffee that I, like coffee that I used to drink when I was Mormon because we couldn't drink caffeine. And wait, why can't I skip this? Okay. And it was actually like pretty good. It was pretty, a pretty good dupe for coffee. There's always decaf too. <laughs> 
just to kind of get the little, you know, taste of it. I'm going to check it out. I forget what it's called. Oh, man, I don't remember what it was called. But it was like, I think it was some sort of wheat drink or something. Oh, we got, we got pears. Okay. Let me see if I can find it. I'm going to see if maybe... Oh, yeah, it's called Postum. Postum. P-O-S-T-U-M. Oh, not the orange airport with the pears. Um, hmm. Yeah, I used to be Mormon. I grew up Mormon. I took a, a walk today around the lake in downtown for my break today. My legs are on fire, but I feel good. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad you got up and moving because I know how much you like taking your naps too. But <laughs> it's good to move around a little bit. With orange again. How did your island recording go? I didn't record it, but I will. Once I have the DA. Like, well, the DA has already been saved, obviously. But I'm going to have to record it through DA. As an ADHD, I can't imagine no caffeine. I honestly, I struggle with that too. I am, yes. I'm going for a fall themed, like, or fall vintage overgrown kind of island town. It's going to be really pretty. So what do we think? Do you think I should keep going? I really like this map so far though. I wish I could show it to you guys again. It has a big peninsula toward the back. I know, I look like a little sailor. <laughs> Hi, Adri. I'm trying to make some lifestyle changes. Let's go. I don't care for the taste of pasta. Listen, honestly, that's totally valid. I was not, I didn't love it. I liked it because it like filled in like that need for, for coffee in my life. Like I've been drinking coffee since I was probably like, this is, I was like four, like I'm Colum like that is part of our identity as Colombians is drinking coffee, like since we're really young. <laughs> and so like for me, wait, what am I doing? Hang on, what, hello? No. So for me, I just needed something. And so that's what I drank at the time. I was like in middle school. This is what I was drinking instead of coffee because I, <laughs> I don't think that's normal though, but... <laughs> It's normal for us. Like we, we used to have coffee for breakfast with bread sometimes, not always, just like as a little breakfast treat, we would have coffee with like a ton of milk, obviously, but it was still coffee in my system. Yeah. I think I'm worried you'll regret the orange. Yeah. That's why I just like, yeah. The autopilot to time traveling. I know, Gwen, <laughs> don't, don't perceive. Coffee very young. Oh, with your Finnish family? Who else has been drinking coffee since they were kids? Not that it's a good thing, but who else? Who else? <laughs> I think I might need to open up the, the door really quick. Oh, my music stopped? Wait, my music's still on. My music is still on. You guys might not hear it though. I'll be right back, guys. I'm just gonna open up my door because I'm really hot in here. Dark roast dandelion root tea is a good sub for coffee. Ooh. Dark roast dandelion root tea. Roast dandelion root tea. Ooh, that feels really good right now. I'm a little fan. Can you guys hear the music better now? Or is it still like too low? This mic that I have is the Wave, the Elgato Wave 3 mic. It's a really good one. I like it. I don't know. I really like it. I'm Peruvian and a cortadito, milk with a bit of coffee, was very common for breakfast or lunch. As a kid, oh, 
I, yeah, I think it's very Latino to have a lot of like, like young coffee. Not the right controller. Sounds good for digestion. Yeah, I've never heard of it before. I have it here just cause I like, I have this um, crate in my kitchen where I stuff it with like tea and I'm actually trying to see if I can expand my tea drinking, like my tea options. Cause right now I only have chamomile and I have Earl Grey. So, oh, and I also have this raspberry leaf tea for like my time of the month. Cause it's supposed to help with like your cramps and stuff. Oh yeah, if you haven't liked the stream, feel free to give it a little thumbs up to help support. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I've, I haven't said it yet, but thank you guys so, so much for um, supporting the stream today, especially since I'm just now getting back to YouTube. <laughs> it's been so long. Werewolf tea? <laughs> Wait, huh? Werewolf tea? I think it was just low for me because I'm on my phone with the volume lower. Okay, okay. Oh, you can hear it? Okay, it's good now. Okay, perfect. It might have just been lower because of the um because of the specific playlist that I was using. Cause it changes between playlists. Um, okay, so then we'll do this. I don't know if I'm crazy about this here anymore. Do we want sleepy eyes? I feel like she looks so proper in this little button up. YouTube. <laughs> Hi, Baxter. How are you doing? How's it going? I'm doing well. I'm just restarting an island. Hi, Joelle. Welcome in. Also, hi, Maple Cake. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Chelsea. Mr. Streams, Anna. So glad to have you. Oh, thank you. I'm happy to be back. The island tour will likely be up this weekend. I'm like, I'm probably going to be working on it on my day off from stream so very soon very soon should be pretty easy my island's super easy to get through so I, I don't think it'll take me too long to um to record it and then to do a little voiceover and stuff thank you <laughs> i want a clever youtube name <laughs> thank you so much the ran i use is ticino it's um pricey but it's been the, the best substitute my mom suggested for weaning off coffee i mean i don't know if i want to wean off coffee but oh yeah that's the one that pops up for me so for anybody that wants to try something maybe look into that one the dandelion dark roast dandelion root tea Ooh, this one's not bad i don't like how close it is to the beach though i don't like that too much this one's also not bad I think I prefer this one a little bit more. And it has a long dock too. Aw, oh, Fawnbrook is such a good name. I love that. So excited to finally visit Cotton. I know. I know I'm taking so long with the DA. I know, but soon I promise. I'm excited for you guys to visit. We had some people say goodbye to it yesterday on stream and it was so much fun. My heart was so full after that stream. And yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to see more photos. Forever referring to YouTube as you too whoop. <laughs> you woo too whoop. <laughs> That's so funny. Shaking my head at it. JK, you're doing great. I know, it was such a cute stream. Go ahead, please. Have mercy on me. Yeah, is one of your villagers Fauna? Oh, Bear Grove. My Baldur's uh, Gate 3 Halston themed island. I've never played that game, Baldur's Gate. Do any of you guys play Baldur's Gate 2? I feel like that game intimidates me as a gamer. I'm like, I feel like <laughs> I'm such a baby gamer and slowly only ever getting into like the like the exciting games like Fortnite and stuff but I don't know if I could ever like venture into Valo or anything like that I'm also hopefully soon if we have time Gwen we have to try out that one game you what was it called again 
Why am I forgetting the name? I'm like spacing out. Apples, we got apples. That was not bad. Apples aren't bad. I mean, I'm scared of Valo. I feel like I'm gonna suck. <laughs> the villagers are gonna be nature -y. squirrels, ducks, bears, cubs. I ended up getting truffles and she might stay. No, not the green. Wait, I'm gonna, no. I love natural looking, like nature -y villagers with neutral colors. Those are usually my go-to. I'm very, very boring, but I still like them. I love them just the same. Oh, <laughs> gotta go. Goo, goo. I'm having trouble reading that. Guys, but good luck with finding an island. Can't wait to see. Thank you so much for popping in today, Anna. Good luck with the rest of your day. I hope it's a, a lovely one. If you had to pick a villager that represents yourself slash aesthetic, which would it be? Like, not a fave, but one that represents, reminds you of you? Um, Freckles. Freckles reminds me of me, yeah. <laughs> Apples would be good for overgrown fall island. I think so too. I just didn't like the green airport as much. I want to do yellow. I really want to do yellow. I like the green. I like green in general, but I think the green they chose for Animal Crossing is a little bit too neon. For my taste, at least. Real time response to dandelion and tea. It's um, it's good, almost like coffee, and I'm picky with taste of stuff. Oh, thank you. Thanks for letting us know. I'm actually shocked there's a tea that tastes like coffee. The Sonrio villagers are some of my faves. They're all so cute. I love Sonrio villagers. Gotta love the freck. I love freckles so much. Um, I think I might actually get her for this island. But I'm definitely gonna have Marty. Because he's like, he's, he's one of my top faves. If not my favorite villager. Ever. Besides freckles. I feel like them two are like, fighting for their spot. In first place. Oh, Eunice is a cutie too. Girl, I want to restart so bad now. Join me. <laughs> Join me. Unless it's going to make you cry like I almost did today. I love Marty. I even have a little emote for him. I actually have a, a bunch of little Marty emotes on Twitch. But um, yeah, I love Marty. Join us. <laughs> There's a Marty wig? Oh, in the game. I, <laughs> I thought you meant I thought you meant IRL. Aw, oh, Bear Grove is only on its fourth day. It's the day Ozzy is gonna move in. Aw, oh, I love Ozzy. He's such a cutie. Ozzy's a very cute villager. When did I have Ozzy? I don't remember. I had him at some point. Yeah, the little hug emote. It's so cute with him. It's actually supposed to be like a teddy bear version of Marty. So it doesn't look exactly like him. Whisper, maybe. I don't remember anything. <laughs> I know, I know. I wish, I wish Hello Kitty were actually a cat. They could have given us a cat with her. I also think Marty would have been good as a dog, too. But I do love Marty as a bear cub, so. Oh, uh, yeah, Ty's really cute, too. Honestly, I really like most of the Sanrio villagers. I like most of them. The gorilla really was a choice. It's the gentle giant, y'all. I think that's what they were going for. Gentle giant. Yeah, I know, Hank. It's just... A girl can dream, okay? <laughs> I know they weren't meant to be the same species as the Sanrio characters, but still... I want Hello Kitty to be a cat. Plus, if you think about... Isn't Hello Kitty actually supposed to be a girl, not a cat? Technically. <laughs> I mean, technically as in the lore says... Oh yeah, tiger. Wait, do we have tigers? Oh yeah, we... 
Tigers? No. I don't think we have tigers, do we? It's just lions, no? I was playing ACNH with my sister-in-law and she was telling me that she already finished the game because she got KK to come to her island. So precious, but who's gonna tell her? <laughs> There's so much more. They really just made it feel like we were done with the entire game once that little credit credit scene came up, huh? But they also did the same with New Leaf and the town tree. We just sit there and it, it kind of feels like the end of the game. Oh, those are all tigers? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm the same person that called uh... <laughs> I called one of the, the cows Norma Strawberry Elephant and she's a cow because I I'm something else sometimes no not Diana W Diane W Diane W there we are see mm, we have leopards I think I don't know if there are leopards tigers they're a big cat that's all I know but yeah I guess they're tigers with a little strawberry elephant forever <laughs> I love Norma I think she's an amazing perfect villager in my opinion like, genuinely, I love her so much. She's such a good one. Wait, no. Not the hair. Hang on. Almost got me there. I'm still waiting for the time Diana doesn't <laughs> notice the typo and gets into the game and realizes she's been introduced as Diabs. That could totally happen. But I hope not. Tipper's also a really cute villager. There's only one that really looks like a tiger, I think. That's why it's so confusing. <laughs> Hello Kitty characters are children pretending to be animal characters. Weird. Yeah, it's so confusing. But I guess I'm here for the lore. To be fair, there's a strawberry, rhino, and a- Oh yeah, meringue. Meringue is so cute. Meringue is such a cutie. Oh, I feel so much better now with the fan on. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh, hurry up, hurry up. No! Ugh. The second one isn't that bad. But I'm not crazy about it. Also, the peninsula is small. The top one has a big peninsula, but it's also like very close to the airport. Y'all, if I don't find a map today, I am so sorry. I can't help it. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> How long is it gonna go on for? I have Hazel, Boots, Dom, Fauna, Molly, Phil, Patty, Elmer, Blue Bear, and Timbra on my island. Oh, those are such cute villagers. I love Elmer. I forgot about Elmer. Also, Blue Bear, I had, I think, like on my first island, I had Blue Bear at some point. She's so cute. She reminds me of Blue Bear, like the um, stationary character. Blue Bear, uh, I'm pretty sure, let me see, stationary. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it before, but it was like, from back in the day, I was obsessed with Blue Bear. He was so cute. It was like always at Morning Glory I don't know if Morning Glory exclusively had characters, but I used to always see him. I want to show him to you guys, but it's not coming up. Alright, I'll just send y'all a little link in chat if you want to see Blue Bear. But it always makes me think of him. Wait, is that straight up just like the front, like, page of the store or something? Thank you, Lucky. Yeah, 
You guys can see him right there. He's so cute. He's a bit like Care Bears, the one in game. Yeah, you're so right, Lexi. <laughs> Thanks for being here for me. We'll see. Maybe, maybe we'll settle on something another time, but I don't want to just settle for anything. I'm going to get more coffee in my system. Oh my god, hello? Yeah, his nose is a heart. It's so boopable. My sister got Animal Crossing for Christmas and we just went through the process of her choosing a map. So much fun and endless possibilities. I'm almost done with my current theme. And I'm so tempted to restart because everyone is at the moment, but I'm, I'm so close to finishing my museum and nook tasks. Why do you want to restart? I mean, besides everybody else, like, is there a reason? Is there something you don't like about your island? Because I, like my, the island I just deleted right now, an hour ago, I loved that island. But the biggest reason why I restart was just because of like the name not being one that I would want for my forever island. So if you like, wait, what's going on? I'm so, oh, okay, here we are. <laughs> if you like your island as it is, besides like, I guess the fact that everybody else is restarting, I wouldn't restart if I were you. Because it's really hard to do all of that again, especially if you have like Happy Home Paradise and you got through that storyline, which is so long. I don't know. I would just keep it. Don't settle if you're ha not happy with your map. I won't. I promise. Disney's one <laughs> way to spell Diana. Not the right way, but <laughs> yeah, there's always another day too. We can try. You got to get the right, uh, the right start. You deserve it. Thank you, Lori. I do deserve it. I want to restart because I hate my island named Milk Tea. Milk Tea is a cute name. I like Milk Tea. I recently restarted and the Happy Home Paradise struggle is real. Oh my god, yeah. I only ever finished it this last time and I was almost like, I don't know if I could restart just thinking about what I have to do again. Like, But I here I am restarting because I didn't like the name enough. I did not like the name enough. Molly, Fauna, Marty, and B are my favorite at I love B. I love B so much. She's so cute. Her little red nose. I think I'm actually gonna get her for this island if I come across her. I really also want Coco. I'm kind of sad I didn't get Coco for my last island because I feel like she would have been perfect for my last island. Yeah. You know, I like the fact that they added Happy Home Egg Bean, but I do find it to be quite the chore. Especially at the beginning when you don't have all of like the pretty items and stuff and you have to work your catalog up. Like it's such a chore for me personally. I love V2. She's so great. Yeah, my name my name uh, or the name for this current island coming up is gonna be Milkweed. I know. Coco reminds me so much of your island tea tree. <laughs> Coco's cliffside clay classes. It lives on in our hearts. It's honestly funny sharing a name with her because she suits my vibe a lot. Aw, yeah, that's true. You do share a name. She's so cute. I love B. I really like B a lot. I feel like she'd be a perfect villager to have like on a winter island too because of her little red nose and like put her in a little coat or something. Mmm. I like her a lot. Happy Home Paradise was a bit of a waste of money for me personally. Never play it. You know, I think I like Happy Home Paradise. I do. I just feel like it's not as satisfying as I was hoping for it to be. Like playing through it. I, I think the only, I guess, good part about it is the fact that you can go back to your island and like decorate everything like in your villagers houses that part for me was so worth it but like in the actual game itself I found that it was a little bit like kind of like pulling out teeth sometimes 
I don't know. Just like the process of getting the catalog, like I said, and like very slowly unlocking everything with, um, what's it called? The, um, the pillars and all of the dividers and stuff. Like, I wish we got that a little bit earlier on. I don't know. There was something about that, that DLC that didn't really satisfy me too much now that I've officially played it. I don't know. Yeah, I did reset. I reset today. Oh, Spork didn't plan on it, but he moved in. And I love him too much to get rid of him. Then you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Spork is a good one. I had Spork too at some point. I don't really play up, but the ability to change your villagers' home slash or the vine slash wall partitions made it worth it for me. Yeah, same. Same here. Does everyone think it's worth restarting? I'm just not happy with my map and how close my resident service is to the airport, but I love my villagers. Ooh, that's a really good question, Claire. For me, personally, like, if I wasn't in love with, like, certain things about my map, I mean, I honestly don't think all maps are perfect. It's just the nature of the game. But if it's something that really troubles me personally, then I would restart. It kind of just depends. A small peninsula is something that I could deal with, though, for example. But, like... The placement of resident services is definitely not something that I can um, not be happy with. Because, like, I, I remember very, very vividly struggling so hard whenever I had my resident services, like, right next to my beach. Yeah, these are not it either. I feel like I'm being tortured. Why did I think this was going to be fun? <laughs> I was so excited for today. <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm grounded or something. <laughs> Someone put me on the corner on timeout. And now I can't decorate anymore. <laughs> I gotta start over again. I will say Wardell is my boy. I will fight for his honor. Wardell is so cute. I love him. He's so funny. I like how quiet he is. I may have missed a few streams on Twitch, but did you do decorate the villagers' interiors on con? I did. Yeah, it was super fun. It was a lot of fun. I So when I finished Happy Home Paradise is when I started doing all of my villagers' houses on stream. And that's when I feel like the fun really began for me. Was after, like when it was on my own island and it was something that like you know, something I could actually enjoy. That's when I was like having so much fun. And I I did all of the villagers houses. I didn't finish all of my rooms for my own house because I was done. And I was also really tired of the fact that I had to like catalog a lot of things. And I didn't really have a, a huge catalog or even like a lot of the DIYs on my last island. So I really struggled with my own house, but thankfully I, I did do two rooms. The back room is kind of decorated, but like not finished. So keep that in mind if you come to visit. But yeah, I had a lot of fun after when I actually had Happy Home Paradise, like marry into my island. It was so nice. Especially with the exteriors and like having that finally fit into my theme. That was so satisfying. Enjoy the lurk, Lexi. Yeah. They won't all be at home. Because uh, it's like very early morning, Amanda. But I think... I know Marshall's home for the DA. So you can visit Marshall's little cafe. I don't know who else was home. If anybody was. Thank you, Tingling. Aw, Christina. I'm so glad you were looking forward to it. Thank you. Thanks for popping in today. Oh, yeah. You know what? A big peninsula would be a great place for Able Sisters. That wouldn't be a bad spot. Or it could be a really good spot for the museum tent. 
perhaps. I've never done anything like that, but that might be a good, a good choice if it's an option. One thing I do like about Happy Home Paradise is you can change seasons and play around with different themes and codes, etc. and decorating. Have you noticed though that with um, like Happy Home Paradise, the seasons and everything were like a little bit, like it was very much like a specific time of the season, but it didn't let you use like a, maybe like a little scroll wheel through the time, like the certain date of that season. So for example, it'd be like right in the middle of, I think, autumn, instead of like having the option of doing early autumn, you know? That was something I wish they did. Oh, they're all not good. This one's not bad, actually. I think this one might work. What do you guys think? The peninsula is also big and it's at the front. What do y'all think? Doesn't hurt to try, right? Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, I love the interiors it did for Villagers on Cotton. They were so sweet. Thank you, Abby. I wish there was a way for everybody to be able to visit, like, all of them on the DAs. But, yeah, it's, like, limited with that. Yeah, I'm crossing my fingers for the airport color, even for the fruit kind of, because I would really like a little peach in my passport, but I'm also like a little bit more flexible with the fruit, I think. Hi, Dove Dot. Welcome, Hasselina. Welcome. Thanks for joining us today. Also, hi, Sophie. Did I miss you coming in? I hope you're doing well. I was meeting, so I missed what you're looking for. Um, so <laughs> you haven't missed much on the stream, but what I'm looking for is um, like kind of, I mean, I was looking for a central airport. This one's like on the left. I'm looking for a uh, resident services that's kind of further away from the airport and not too close to the beach. Also a big peninsula and one south facing river and a yellow airport with maybe peaches. I'm like crossing my fingers for that. But yeah, that's what I'm looking for. That's why I make sure I take pictures when I redecorate so if they're not home in the DA, I can still show people. Oh, that's cute. That's a good idea. If I wasn't rushing so much, I think I'd probably think of those things, but I just was like, <laughs> I really wanted to restart. Interiors are really some of the hardest things to decorate for me in ACNH, and I really don't know why. Honestly, for me, like one thing that I really struggled with was having the items that I wanted for my interiors. And I really wish that I had the same catalog that I have for my villagers through Happy Home Paradise with my actual, like, you know, house. So, oh, no worries, Dub Dot. No worries. Good luck with your schoolwork. Thanks so much for popping in. And also, if you're just now popping in, don't forget to give the stream a like. It would really mean a lot. Peaches? We got peaches. We got peaches, guys. Also, hi, Shy. I'm finally not so busy at work. How's it going? It's going good. I mean, it's going slowly. I'm really hoping this has a good airport color. No, I knew it was going to be green. I had this feeling. <laughs> I had this, this feeling. I don't know if I... Yeah, I'm not going to do the green airport, guys. Hi, Beth. Ugh. I don't like the green. It's too bright. So rude to be... I know. Okay, we're going to close it. It's fine. We're going to close it. It's getting a little dark in here. I know. It was so close, Brie. I was so close to being free. The room sketch app you get with the Happy Home Paradise DLC really helps with that. It gives you access to the Happy Home Paradise catalog from your phone and design any room you like. Oh, so, you know, like having the items in mind. I, can you still order this stuff from Happy Home Paradise, though? Like from your... So say you have it unlocked in Happy Home Paradise. You did the storyline. Can you order all those items? Is that something you can actually do? 
Yeah, Tank was my starter on Cotton. I think he was, at least. I'm pretty sure. You have a really good memory. <laughs> I haven't finished my house interior. I want so many things that I still don't have in my catalog. Yeah, it takes time. If you're doing it the not cheaty way. I think you can for more Adele if you buy enough items. Oh, wait. Yeah, you'd still have to order items from Happy Home Paradise with a pokey, but you can design like you have everything. <gasps> really? I didn't know that. Oh. Oh my god, I wish I knew that. I didn't know. That would have helped out a lot. I don't think so, but you can use any of those items when decorating your villagers. Right. But you do unlock a catalog. So if you have pokey, you can order the things from the catalog. That's true. I did know that. I forgot though. <laughs> I think I did know that because you do unlock the catalog eventually and then you have your pokey, right? And then, so that catalog you have from Happy Home Paradise, you can just order from with pokey. Oh my God, I'm upset. There were so many items that I wanted. And I was like, I do not want to scour all the treasure islands just to get these items. So I got so lazy. Oh, okay, thank you, Shy. Thanks for reminding me because I did not notice. Um, all right, I'm gonna add you as a moderator now. Thank you, Shy. You can trade bells into Pogi as well after a certain, oh, interesting. I didn't know that either. There's so much from Happy Home Paradise that changes the game that I um, literally didn't know. But it's okay, because I'm restarting. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I gotta look out for the weenies. Thank you, Shy. We gotta look out for the weenie huts. That's what I've been doing since I'm trying to keep my nooks cranny as the first shop, so buying items. <gasps> Sophie, that's so smart. Okay. Um... Oh yeah, Megan, thank you for the reminder. Don't forget to get up and stretch slash get a cup of, of something hot or cold to drink, everyone. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that really quick because I actually have to go to the bathroom really, really fast and then I have to get some water, um, finish up my coffee. Okay, so we're gonna do words on stream so you guys have something to do. But if you don't have any water and you need to stretch or like do something, this is a really good reminder to just take a moment to take care of yourself. I will be right back, y'all. Thank you so much for watching today's stream. Just give me a few minutes and have fun playing words on stream. Okay, be right back. Just kidding. Give me a second. <laughs> give me a second. Hmm. That's the wrong account. No, that's also the wrong account. Oh my gosh. I have so many emails, y'all. Okay, it should be good now. All right, be right back, guys. Thanks for waiting.
All right, I'm back. Thanks for waiting, guys. I got... Oh, wait. Just kidding. I forgot my water. Um, <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> Okay, now I'm back. Thanks for waiting, y'all. I forgot my... I, I had actually poured my water, but then I had to go to the bathroom, so... I left it in my kitchen. <laughs> anyway, good games. Good games. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Wait, why is it still continuing? I turned it off. Okay, there it is. Okay. Awesome. Let's continue. Hopefully finding an island. Where did my music go? Why did it stop just now? Always great timing, huh? Where is it? I have so many tabs open right now. <laughs> okay, anyway. I never know what to say when I get back, but... <laughs> Let's get this stream to 150 likes! Yeah! We're so close. I think it was at 140. If you guys haven't liked the stream, don't forget to give it a like to help support the stream also if you're a vod viewer thanks for watching leave a comment down below i don't know what kind of comment just anything who your favorite villager is i don't know <laughs> that also helps support the stream as well okay we got to choose a map now um oh this one's not bad i'm not crazy about the peninsula but this one's not bad this one looks like tea tree map again. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do I want this? Do I want this one? I feel like now that I actually want to make a build on the big one, I'm not sure that I'd want to compromise having a smaller... Oh! Wait! Why did... Okay, my chat for some reason was not loading and I just saw everything you guys have been saying. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> I don't know what happened. My, my chat stopped moving. I've had that map before too. It's a good map. It's got the big giant harp pond. It's got a little nook in between the cliffs. It's a really good one, especially if you're doing no terraforming. It doesn't really mean anything to me since I'm going to be terraforming anyway, but I kind of like bottom left. Oh, Jordan. I get that a lot sometimes. Don't compromise on, I won't. I will not compromise on the peninsula. I want to put like, I think I want to put my museum tent on, on it. Give the like button a little boop. Aw. <laughs> I like that. Let me, I'm going to pin that too. That's cute. All right, guys. Here goes, another restart. Are we gonna do, how long? I don't even know how many maps it's been, Ali. It took me so long to find mine. I. How long has it been today? I put my my campsite on my peninsula. That's, that's a good spot too for a campsite. I think for me, like I would probably want it toward the back of the island for this one, but I wanna put something on it. And I think the tent or the, um, the museum tent is perfect because 
you can't really place you can't really place the museum anywhere like the museum tent within the map like especially if you're terraforming and stuff I'm sorry I got really distracted we're two away from 150 guys sorry I was just checking <laughs> We're two away. We can do it. I believe in us. Yeah. Because I don't really know where else I would put my museum tent. I don't want to put it on the beach, but I feel like on the peninsula would be perfect. Right? It wasn't my idea. Somebody in chat mentioned it. I was like, yeah, that's a really good plan. I wish I had a counter for how many maps we've looked at today. How long has it been, today's stream? I don't even know. Time is blurring. Oh my god, stop it. There we are. Yeah, I'm keeping it as a tent for now. At least for this island, I think I am. Or like the, the town theme. And if at any point I want to change it or something, like that's still something I can do. 152, let's go. Thank you guys. Let's get it to 200 now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think 152 is pretty solid. Thank you guys so much for liking the stream. I appreciate it. It doesn't feel like it's been two hours. Oh, it's been two hours? Wait, what time is it? 329. It's been like two hours and a half. Okay. My streams usually, like if you're not you know, watching me on Twitch already, they usually go on for probably like four to five hours or something. And I told myself that on YouTube, if I'm not feeling 100%, then I might do like shorter streams on YouTube just to kind of, you know, give myself a little bit of a, a break, a little break. <laughs> but I think today I'm actually pretty energetic. So we should be able to go on for like four hours. Let's see if we can actually find an island today. My throat's feeling okay. It actually went away. Oh no, I gulped and then I felt it a little bit. It's not that bad though. It's it's just like a it's like a weird dull feeling and only on one side. I'm kind of hoping it's just like an irritation from the air or something because I have really dry air in my apartment right now. Um, it makes my voice very crackly. If you guys ever notice, my voice is like very. Ugh. It's because of the the dry air in our apartment. So I'm really hoping it's just that because I went out this past weekend with some friends and I don't really go out much. So I'm kind of scared that I got something. <laughs> no, it's okay, B. It's okay. I want to restart a keep lathers as a temp, but that means no Brewster. It does mean no Brewster. That's why I wish that we could actually have a Brewster Cafe because it would have been so nice to have that as an option. Oh, why? Ugh. This one's not bad, but it's a small peninsula. Okay, let's just try it. I also don't mind the airport to the left. I feel like that's kind of doable, but the resident services is definitely one that I like to cover as much as I can with like trees and like maybe cliffs and stuff, depending on what I'm doing. And it's the puny peninsula. I know, I know, shy. I just said I shouldn't do it, but here I am. <laughs> I'm just looking. I'm just taking a peek just to break it up a little bit. Do you have an island name in mind? Milkweed. Also, thank you. Thank you. I like this. This jumper, I like this sweater, <laughs> this pullover, whatever you want to call it. It says thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch for liking the stream. Thanks a bunch for watching. <laughs> Manifest, wait, can you guys even see it? Oh yeah, you can, I think you can, right? Yeah, you can, thanks a bunch. Honestly, uh, hopefully it's nothing major. Oh, yeah, I hope so, too. I hope so, too. I'm, like, crossing... My, I don't want to get sick right now because that means less streams for y'all, and I, I like streaming, so... I want to be able to stream tomorrow. I also have my time of the month coming up, so, like, I'm kind of weirded out that I haven't gotten it yet, but, like, my body tends to do this whenever I'm getting sick, so, like, if I actually do get sick, it makes sense why I'm, like, late right now. Um... <laughs> Please don't be anything serious. I just, I don't want to miss a stream. 
I wouldn't be mad if I got sick right now. Could use a few days just to just sleep. Aw, Jordan. I hate that the only time we ever give ourselves is when we're not feeling well. And even sometimes when I'm sick, okay, no. Even sometimes when I'm sick, I will still clean the entire apartment. I will still vacuum. Like, <laughs> I can't be stopped. What color airport do I want? I want yellow. I like yellow. It's a no. I know. It's, it's a better luck next time. <laughs> I'm so glad you're still streaming. I had to go to La Cl Oh, how'd it go, Kennedy? Welcome back. I hope it went well. Orange, get out of here. I know, right? What the heck? That or stress and change in sleep schedules can also affect our monthly visitor too. Fingers crossed you're not coming down with anything. That's true. There's so much that can affect it. Honestly, it could just be that like I am getting it later on and that's it. Because I feel the cramps and everything. All the symptoms are there. I feel like any minute now, it will be here. So I'm currently under a yellow blanket and I'm hoping it'll help. You're manifesting, B. <laughs> I like a yellow airport. It's, um, it's cute. It's cute. You yeeted your uterus. I was reading about this the other day about how we only fully practice self-care and slow down is when we're sick. I feel this. I'm always on the go, but I burn out so fast. Amanda, same. I, I genuinely do struggle so much with burnout. And I know it probably doesn't look like it, but right before stream, I was in bed like right after I showered and I got ready and I was like, okay, I got to get up now. I was just like, oh, like I didn't want to move. And I felt like this very deep, lethargic kind of feeling in my body somehow I'm here and I'm fine and I'm laughing with you guys I'm having a good time the coffee helps too Ugh, but and it's not even because of the stream itself it's just the the act of talking for hours sometimes that can make it a little hard for me to like you know get into that mindset of like you know being on and stuff but I I do like being like being here and streaming and stuff I don't I don't want it to seem like I'm complaining, but sometimes, some days, I'm like, ooh, I can't move. It's just my body. So I, I totally feel that. Slay blush. <laughs> Have you been stressed lately? That I'll, No, actually, I haven't been too stressed lately. I don't think I have been. I've noticed I'm actually really happy right now. Um, yeah. You're human. It's okay, bestie. True. I know. I know, but sometimes I'm like, I have this internal monologue or like just thought process in my head where I'm like, okay, you hated your last job. It was really toxic. You weren't doing anything you loved and all you thought about was streaming. And now you're streaming and there are days where you can't or won't talk or feel like you just maybe can't do it. And it's like, why? Just, but yeah, we're all human. We're all human, so it'll happen sometimes. I couldn't imagine talking this long on a regular basis. To be honest, it's a skill. That's what happens when you're that one talkative kid. <laughs> and then you finally do the thing that makes you talk for hours. <laughs> I was very talkative as a kid, like so talkative. Um, okay. This one? No. Hmm. I have space. I like this one too. This one's kind of nice. The peninsula isn't huge, but my parents had to bribe me to talk. <laughs> Thank you for understanding guys. So happy you're able to find some release, relief blush. Wait, what are we talking about? Blush? Are we talking about my villager? My character? Totally normal. I'd say we have those days. Yeah. Top left is the best option. Oh, top left. I, don't, I was like, top left? I thought you were talking about the right one. Um, We can try it. Let's just try it. Okay, we'll, we'll try it. It's going to be like that with whatever job you have, but the important thing is that you're happy doing this. True, Sophie. 
That's a really good point. I'm gonna try to remind myself that. Like I'm always gonna have burnout because it's just the way we are. We're all so human and sometimes we forget that we're not meant to be on this constant grind all the time and like have it be um, this, what's it called? I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just feel like it shouldn't be a cycle of like having to constantly be productive every single day. That's only something we implemented on ourselves, so. I have days where I feel so outgoing and won't shut up talking, and then other days when I'm so quiet and I personally don't want to talk. Yeah, it's normal too. It's it's how I feel sometimes also, Amanda. Just some days you can't vocalize anything. You just can't talk. It's just not happening. Who we think the villagers... Uh, will be on the island we actually settle on. I feel like Deirdre and Billy will be on the perfect island. <laughs> um, that's a really good question. I don't know. I never really think about the starter villagers anymore, just because I can always change them up. But I would love, I would love for Hazel. <gasps> Peaches? The good old extroverted introvert. Let's see. Sorry, I'm holding my breath right now, you guys. I'm holding my breath. I feel like if I had the freedom to be productive when I want, I would be productive a lot more. Dude, what is happening? Oh my god, and then I got such a cute starter. Bruh. Ambivert, that's me. I feel like that's kind of how I feel sometimes, too. When you're quiet and keep to yourself, your mom goes, Why are you in such a mood today? Like, unprompted, quiet. <laughs> My husband and I's dream is to live on some property and slow down. Our future babies get to explore and just be kids while I tend to a garden, some little chickens, and make the best sourdough goodies. Jordan, you and I are the same person, honestly. <laughs> I would love that too. Have you guys ever watched... I think it's the Cottage Fairy. I've mentioned her before, but her like life is what I want in my life. Just like living in the countryside, making things, exploring... Anyway, only, only orange and green shaking my- I know, right? What's going on? Why am I getting so unlucky? Should I just suck it up and like have an orange airport or... I mean, it's not the worst. I don't think it's that bad. Honestly, sounds like the dream life. Jordan sounds so peaceful. I know, right? It sounds so peaceful. Making your own bread. I want a bread machine. You shouldn't have to settle. I know. No, don't give up. Okay, you know what? Because not only the, is the peninsula not the best, but also the airport. But this is still... No, yeet. <laughs> Should I? Just stay strong. Don't settle. I feel like the blue and yellow are the best colors. Blue is actually really nice, too. If you had your heart set on a yellow, then I'd say keep trying. I don't know how settled I was, actually. Because, like, this still fits my... Alright, y'all, you're right, you're right. I still have, I feel like I have a good amount of space to build here, too. On this side trying to think of like what I would do as an entrance Malia thank you so much for becoming a cafe patron I appreciate it so much thank you thank you so much you freaking sweetheart I hope you enjoy the emotes over here also you're gonna hate the orange airport okay true blush blush is like reality smacked me in the face with it <laughs> like you're gonna hate it <laughs> okay shy you know what i think i can add the alerts with mix it up bot i think i can <laughs> you just delete us <laughs> you know i don't mind the orange but then i also didn't like the peninsula being so tiny yeah i think i could add the alerts with um uh, mix it up bot so I think I'm going to try. Thank you for lurking, Malia. You're so sweet. I really do appreciate the support so much. Thank you so, so much. 
The more you run around, the more I'm leaning towards keeping it. <laughs> okay, Andrew. I heard you. If anything, like if today we don't find the map, we'll just continue until we find the map. I told myself I wasn't going to have all this criteria. And I... Here I am having all of this criteria. I feel like I'm being really picky. Oh, Carissa, where do you go for Treasure Island? Don't forget to like the stream, friends. Give the like, wait, the like button a little boop like Lexi said earlier. It's a relatable struggle though. Like I take forever with mine. Yeah, I expected this kind of. A little bit. The criteria is not even that much. Like the game is being stingy. I don't know. So true, Pitbull. It's the game. It's not me. I'm not the problem. <laughs> the game keeps giving me the same damn airport. And also it keeps giving me small peninsulas. Like why? Give me bigger peninsulas. I really hope they give us better map structures next time because I'm honestly not too thrilled by what we have. Like, give us more. Give us something else. Give us a little island off the shore of our, like, town or something. I don't know. I want a bigger island. Or town. Please. That's all I'm saying. I like the square nose. <laughs> Sometimes the game is intentionally evil. <laughs> Two hours last night trying to kick Chief or Phoebe and I didn't succeed. I just had to reach for Blair's and Sasha's amiibos. No. <laughs> Squoze. Square nose superiority. <laughs> Squoze. I love that. I used to be obsessed with the tooth smile. Picking your forever island is the equivalent to getting married. <laughs> it's one in a million. I know this game can be really rough on our spirits sometimes, especially when we're doing villager hunts. I feel like that's the hardest part of this game is villager hunting, trying to find the villagers we're looking for. I wonder what the next villager hunting mechanic is gonna be for this game. I never thought of that, but like, think about it. How are we gonna find our villagers next? Are we gonna have like a town square or something outside of our town and like we talk to them and maybe there's like four of them walking around shopping. And you could just ask them to come live on your island. I feel like that would be so fun. I would love that. No. No. <laughs> What? I hope it's like a claw machine. Somebody get Pipple a therapist. Please. <laughs> I always go circle nose and kitty mouth. That's a cute combo. I like the kitty mouth. That was the last one I used on Cotton. I don't like any personally. Wait, you don't like what? Sorry, I missed it, Shy. There's a little bit of a delay, I think, on the stream sometimes. Just found that my, wait, is the music a little too loud right now? I'm gonna do this one now. Oh, the maps that I closed out on, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> music is my therapy. Once a day, they're gonna parachute from the sky and stay for a day, <laughs> Gwen. Could you imagine, like in Fortnite, your villagers like parachute down, <laughs> like they start landing. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to get them out of the tree if they land wrong. <laughs> that would be so cute. <laughs> Could you imagine seeing B in like a little parachute? She lands on the roof of somebody's house. You have to get a ladder to like take her down. They just spawn. They're skydiving. I'm gonna go home now and drive. Good luck. I hope you find a map. Once I get home in an hour. <gasps> Shy, get home safe. I love you. Take care. It was so nice seeing you today. Sending you so much love, bestie. They wash up on the beach Gulliver style. <laughs> They're in a balloon gift. Oh my god. You guys are silly. 
I was trying to think of something cute, but here you are saying they're just dropping from the sky. They're just dropping from the void into our towns. Nintendo has to hire me ASAP. Okay, what about you pick two animals and then get them to fight to the death, and the one that wins you keep. The one that dies, you and your villagers carry it to the sea. <laughs> what? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> the stork brings them. Oh, the stork is so cute. Stop it. <laughs> Wait, what about Pelly? Is Pelly a stork? I don't even know what she is, but imagine Pelly like holds them in her beak in like a little like a little satchel, kind of like a blanket or something, and they're just cradled in there and they just drop. <laughs> oh, she's a pelican. Okay. <laughs> her name is literally Pelly. <laughs> She's a stork. <laughs> I told you guys. I don't know my animals. I watched the boy and the heron the other day and I was so confused because there was a heron and then there were there were pelicans and I was like, wait, they look like the same bird to me. <laughs> like I was so confused. <laughs> what are animals? <laughs> They come by mail. They have like an Amazon equivalent of a truck and then they just come get delivered to you at the back of a truck. <laughs> Unfortunately, I gotta go. It's pretty late for me here in the UK. Good luck though. And my friends, uh, oh, sorry, my fingers are crossed for you. Take care. Good night, Amanda. Sweet dreams. Thanks so much for popping in today. It was really nice having you. Thank you for the good luck. I wanna see the boy and the heron so bad, but I can't get anyone to take, to go with me. I'll be... You should make it a little self-care kind of date. I know it's not easy. I cried, by the way, twice. I'm not gonna give anything away, but I I cried watching that movie. It was so good. I loved it. I honestly, like I was expecting to be confused because a lot of people were like, oh, it's gonna be, it's, it might be a little confusing for you. Like I was confused. I didn't find it very confusing. I thought it was like a, like I took it at face value too. So maybe that's what it was, but like it didn't really confuse me. I loved it. I literally am expecting major waterworks. Wait, I wanna know why you didn't like it blush. But like not, not here, like through DM. Like send me a DM why. I just, I'm curious, that's all. I'm just curious. I like hearing people's different, differing opinions for media. Also, hi, Linda. I'm still looking, yeah. Nice to see you again. Welcome back. I cried, though, right away. Could be the PMS. Could be that it was actually sad. I don't know. Oh, no. Be so the reason why I didn't do it was because I saw the small peninsulas, and I was like, I think my brain is just on autopilot at this point. You 3D print them in your house's office. <laughs> what shows am I binging right now? What are we binging? I'm binging nothing right now. I'm not, unfortunately. What are you guys watching right now? I watch a lot of YouTube usually these days. I've been binging Nintendo Switch rumors. Nintendo Switch 2 rumors, that's what I've been doing. Honestly, I respect that. <laughs> what are you guys binging right now? I'm binging streams on YouTube. You're watching Haikyuu again? Yeah, same. I watch a lot of YouTube. Oh, you binge Attack on Titan and cried. It's whatever. Oh my gosh, I really want to watch Attack on Titan. Mushishi, it's a calming anime. Ooh, Mushishi, I've never heard of it. Wait, I'm gonna look this up. Calming anime, in what sense? What's it about? Mm. Binging Outlander. Wait, do you, you watch jokes and stuff? And practical jokers. Wait, is oh, is that? <laughs> I'm so silly. Is that the name of the show? Bring, bring. Wait, binging this girl Diana. She plays AC. Not sure if you please. 
I might have watched her here and there. She's kind of boring, though. <laughs> She's kind of a little lost when it comes to looking for island maps. I don't know. I've been watching a K-drama called My Demon. Oh, I've been meaning to watch that, actually. My Demon. Maybe I could watch it today with some dinner. What? What, Gwen? Don't come for our Diana. <laughs> It's a show and Sal is so fine and marry him on the spot. She's cracked a fortnight though. So you agree with me then, Linda. <laughs> it follows a main character that helps others in a fantasy feudal Japan. Interesting. Been binging streams. Oh, I... No, I'm not a boy. Does it matter? Does it say that you're a, like, your gender in the thing? Because I accidentally picked boy. Does it matter or no? I don't... Is it like in Stardew Valley, am I gonna have bigger feet or something? <laughs> Maybe the pronouns? I think it just calls it your style. Oh, you can change your gender. In... Okay, okay, thank you guys. Mr. Worldwide, I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Watch, this is going to be the perfect island, and I'm going to be a boy. Which I'm okay with. I, If you can change it in your mirror, I'm pretty sure it's something you can kind of, like, fudge around. Like, there is nothing there is nothing that's, like, stuck onto your character, right? Besides your name. Not the blocked. <laughs> you guys. No fighting. The girls are fighting. A. Hey. Maybe the different factor will be the tipping point. <laughs> be, this is what stops it all right now. I'm finally going to get a yellow airport because I accidentally put boy. And peaches. And a big peninsula. And everything is going to be okay. This is the defining factor. Mmm. I kind of like this map. I kind of like this one. This one has a short peninsula though, right? Or not peninsula, sorry, dock. <laughs> Girl fight. Big pin in energy. <laughs> Plus, stop it. Okay, we're gonna look at this one. <laughs> the perfect island is near. It's definitely nearer than it was two hours ago. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Dala. Thank you so much for checking for me. The shape in the middle is intriguing. The dock size doesn't matter. Um, I would beg to differ. I kind of like having a lot of space to decorate on the docks, you know? Anyways, <laughs> Gwen. What did you think I meant? I'm talking about decorating. <laughs> Get your minds out of the gutter. No, don't say that, Pitbull. Somebody ban Pitbull. I need a good put a bow on it. <laughs> oh, true. The size of the dock was average. Okay, that's not bad. I'm, cause the short ones are actually kind of like really, really too short. I never de I actually didn't decorate the dock either, Hank. They exist for Cap'n. I should have gave him a little like, like doormat or something. It's what you do with it that counts, tingling goodbye. Not the cherries. Oh my God. I mean, I don't mind them, but like, I really want peaches. I'm starting to sound a little bit like Bowser. I'm talking about the boat dock. I'm innocent. Not. Oh, oh my God, you guys. I actually got a yellow airport this time. I don't know how I feel about this. This is torture. This is pure torture. <laughs> Not sorry. <laughs> Guys, 
I'm so sad. I was this close. I was this close. So close. I managed to get my old town map before with an orange air orange airport, but I got pears. Just get rid of all the cherries and plant peaches. But it's gonna be on my thing forever. It's gonna be on my little passport forever. Yellow and the monkey with the yellow hands. <sighs> that monkey is making fun of me right now. Let me see something. You know what? I feel like it's a little bit too much to the right also. I mean, it's not... Mm, I could still make it work. I really want peaches. I'm going to be real. I never look at the passport. I do. It's for me. No one but for me. I do, Lou, okay? I chug passport, my own passport, because I'm conceited. <laughs> I've just been watching Friends for the hundredth time. Oh, that's okay. Not Nenny being delayed. I think Nenny's delayed. Oh my gosh. Just so, just so Nenny knows, because sometimes I'll be like on the wrong side of the conversation and it's so embarrassing when that happens to me personally. Okay, so we're not doing this one, guys. I'm so sorry. No, I'm not doing it. <sighs> it's okay. You just delete us it is. I mean, me too. I just pretend pears aren't there. <laughs> pears are so cute. I like pears. I like pears. I think pears are like my second favorite fruit. You like my keyboard sound? I really want a keyboard that has like buttery keys so they're not so loud. This one's kind of loud. I used to be a huge fan of like the clacky keyboard sounds, but nowadays I'm like, they're like a little bit too clacky. It's not bad. It's just, I like the buttery ones, you know? Pears have butts like pe the peaches. Exactly what Hank said. What I'm trying to say is I like butt-shaped fruits and that's why I like the, the peaches and the pears. Peach, cherry, apple, orange, pear. Everyone hates cherries, but they were my first island fruit. I have a special place for them. They're not my favorite. The only, they kind of remind me of my brother a little bit. Not in a bad way, but I remember my brother used to love the cherries a lot growing up. So valid, bestie. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that, Gwen? Again, with the looks. Stop judging me. <laughs> Stop judging me. And you try to ban me for saying dog size doesn't matter. I didn't... That wasn't why I was banning you. It was for something else. But I don't remember why. <laughs> I don't think it was that. Wait, was it that? Shout out to all the booty fruits. <laughs> Gwen's judging, but I bet he likes them too. <laughs> oh yeah, you cursed me to only have orange airports. That's what it was. <laughs> I do, Linda. <laughs> Here it goes. Take 30. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna stretch my legs. I've been like folding them this entire time. Gwen just seems like a guy that likes butt fruits. I don't know. <laughs> you heard that, Gwen? Also, Gwen, when are we playing? Fortnite. When are we playing Fortnite? When do you, when are you free this week? Did the yellow airport happen when you clicked boy by accident or was it that a different time because wait, what? Oh yeah, actually. Wait, B, you're so right. 
It's because I was a boy that I got a yellow airport. <laughs> That's actually what happened. <laughs> you, should you pick boy again? You know what? I think you're onto something. <laughs> I heard it and it ain't wrong. Boy equals yellow airport confirmed. <gasps> Let's do it. I'm so down, Gwen. Are you gonna take a nap after working? I don't like this one. I don't like any of these. You know what, Hank? Let's let's keep that to ourselves. <laughs> please, <laughs> please. The stream is gonna get a little cursed now. <laughs> let's not curse the stream too much. We already have Pitbull here. I'm a boy and I got yellow and peaches. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna be a boy. I'm gonna be a boy because I need to get a good map and that's it, that's final. It's the only thing that changed everything for me. I'm gonna be a boy. Unprovoked? Sure. What do the orange resemble though? Um, is the ACNH sexist? I was gonna say it earlier, but maybe because why am I not getting what I want? It's like you're a girl, well, you're not gonna enjoy any of what you get today. What Beyonce song? What do you. <laughs> What are you talking about? I thought you were a pit bull. I always get what I want when I don't edit my character. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't even care about my character. Maybe I should just like ignore that part and get a mirror really early on. But then I want to take cute photos at the beginning. I want to take some cute photos. That felt like a threat, Mr. World of Mind. Of that. Yeah, sure. Sing me the Beyonce song if it's called Yellow and it's going to manifest. <laughs> Almost a preemptive yeet. Wait, did I pick girl again? I forgot to, I forgot, I was distracted. You guys are distracting me. Everybody shut up. You're distracting me, I need to do this. I should have been a boy. Wait, I just did it now. This was when I was supposed to choose it and I got distracted. <laughs> I totally messed this up. Now I'm never gonna get what I want because I chose that I'm a girl, right? Oh. I'll contact Chris Martin and take away the copyright. Me and him are tight. I know. I'm like losing my mind now. I'm getting a little loopy. You guys want to know what cures loopiness? If you're ever feeling a little loopy, if you're ever feeling like the stream is going on a little too long, and maybe the streamer is starting to lose their mind, all you have to do is like the stream. I don't make the rules. Just like the stream. Have you liked the stream? <laughs> don't move the wiener dog. The wiener dog stays on the lap. I love wiener dogs. They're so cute. OMD, I'm cured. See, I told you, Emmy. She knows. She knows. She believed me, and now she's cured. Okay. I'm gonna play a little game of what does the river remind you of? This river reminds me of a worm. It makes me think of a worm if it had legs. And the worm is stretching its legs. This one looks like a very cursed dog with a super long tail. A coat hanger. 
Which, oh yeah, kind of a coat hanger, yeah. <laughs> that worm is doing line dance. It has been scientifically proven. Lower right is a monkey. Oh, you're right, it is a monkey. This is a monkey. This one is... I don't know. It doesn't really look like anything to me. <laughs> it has a little heart. Wait, oh, it does. It's a monkey in love. It's a little monkey in love. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate how far away this um, resident services is from the airport? It's literally like on the opposite side of the airport right now. Anyway, I don't love it because <laughs> The dock is small, but, oh, not just that. Double safing, uh, double safing? Double <laughs> south facing rivers. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna ignore. Squidworth top right. The level of delusion we reach is insane. Quick, everyone. Like stream, exactly, exactly, quick. Sorry, guys. Double safing. <laughs> oh, there was one that was your current map. I don't even remember what it looked like. Was it the one with the... Oh, was it again? Oh, the worm with the two legs. Oh, guys, we're at 171 likes. Let's get to 200. Okay, if we get to 200, I will stream again on YouTube this week. Hi, Ciros. Let's get this room to 200 likes. If you get it to 200 likes, I will stream again on YouTube this week. 12 hours stream for 200 likes? No, <laughs> I can't do that. If I'm losing my mind on like hour three of doing this, could you imagine 12 hours? Oh gosh. Where are we right now? 200 likes, 200 likes, we can do it. We can do it, I believe. Thanks for liking it. Also, hi, Kat, how are you doing, Kate? Or is it Caitlin? Caitlin, I'm sorry, Caitlin. We're at 180, we're so close. Like Steven, take over while you take, you? <laughs> you don't even know. It would get so chaotic if Steven streamed. Oh my gosh, it would be like, it would be like having a grandpa streaming in like the most chaotic way possible. <gasps> you finished the blankie, send me a photo. Guys, Linda made a really cute Miffy blanket on her new island. I'm hoping sick today, so this is a perfect thing to make me feel better. Thanks for streaming. Oh, thank you so much for watching. And also I hope you feel better. I'm sorry you're feeling under the weather. I think Timmy and Tommy would eventually take you aside and ask if you needed help. Okay, guys, I have to be a boy because it's the only way. <laughs> this is the only way that I can get what I want, apparently, right? So I'm gonna try something new because Animal Crossing New Horizons is actually sexist. I will accept either name since cat is what I use on Twitch. Okay, good to know. Sorry, I got confused. I feel it in my bones, you will find the map. I feel it in my knees, Tori, I will find it. I don't know about today or tomorrow, but I have to find it this week. <laughs> Come on. Oh my gosh, I... I'm really starting to rethink my priorities in life right now. Yeah, Linda made a Miffy blanket. I love Miffy too. She's, she actually surpassed my love for Hello Kitty. Single-handedly. <laughs> Jordan. Jordan. What did, what did Pitbull teach you just now? Because you are sounding, you are sounding just as chaotic as Pitbull right now. 
the holy trinity of Miffy, wait, of Miffy, Snoopy, and Hello Kitty. In Jesus, wait, in Sanrio's name, amen. <laughs> I was about to say Jesus. Does Miffy even have hands? Yeah. Just gotta look with a microscope. This one's not that bad. But it's really close to the beach. <sighs> it's not a bad map, though. But I don't like decorating next to the beach. What are we thinking? You're missing Sylvanian families. Oh, I have some behind me. I have one right here. Yeah. Actually, let me show you. Wait, where's my, oh, here it is. Right there. I have some right there. It's tiny, but it's there. She's right there. I have a couple. There's also some over there. Okay. I don't think... I don't think I'm gonna do this one, y'all. I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm gonna need a second cup of, of coffee today. How long has the stream been? I beheaded Tom Nook and now he is my pillow. Yes, exactly. I'm really sad. I really saw this is taking me so long. <laughs> I think the landscape is nice. The beach might just be a problem. Yeah, I agree, Ruby. Exactly. Like, I liked everything about it, but I think, like, when it comes down to it, Whenever I have like my resin services right next to the beach, like of course I could just plant trees and stuff But like what if I want to add terraforming like I won't have space for that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's why they're give they aren't giving you what you want Diana say you're sorry to his babies. Oh <laughs> oh. I mean I think what really happened is I got revenge for Timmy and Tommy because they started working at this very young age because of him and they, they gave up their childhood for Tom Nook. So actually, I'm doing them a favor. No, Frankie, do not perceive me. I still do not have an island, no. I don't have an island right now. I'm very close, but no cigar. I can feel it, it's happening. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. Oh my God, stop it. There we are, okay. <laughs> I think I'm close. I think. It's been three hours and four minutes. Thanks, guys. Thanks for, thanks for rubbing in my face. I'm just kidding. I asked. I am the one that asked. It's been three hours and we still haven't found an island. Okay. I will give myself one more hour. If I don't find one today, I'm going to continue tomorrow. That's going to be this week's mission. I'm going to find an island because this is my forever island and I can I have to make it count, you know? It's been 25 years. Or I could just continue after stream. Two more? <laughs> Two more hours? I don't know if I can put you guys through that. This is important. This is very important. Thank you, Dove Dot. Manifesting. Diana turning into Kato. Is it the <laughs> YouTube streamer curse? <laughs> Wait, is this what Kato does? I don't blame her. I, well, I'm well, i pretty sure I did watch that stream, actually. It, it was a while ago. 12 years in Azkaban. <laughs> it literally took me three days to find my newest island. 500 times? Did she count it? Did she count how many islands she went to? That stream, there have been 3,902 streams. <laughs> I always say I'm going to find the perfect island, but after an hour I give up. I'm, I don't want to do that. 
I don't want to give up. I want to find the island. This one wasn't it, but it's fine. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. She has a counter on the screen. Maybe I should get a counter too. I need to keep track. For sanity's sake, I need to know. Someone should have kept track. I stopped counting after the third one. <laughs> Animal Crossing is not for the faint of heart. You need that four hours map searching dedication. Also, you need that like 10 hour villager hunt. I remember when I looked for Papi, it took me like an entire 10 hour stream. Back in the day, back in like 2021, when I was like super, was it 2020? I think it was 2020, so yeah. Is the Dream Island in the room with us? She's somewhere in chat. You missed her though. She said she's on her way. She's stuck in traffic. The poppy hunt is engraved in my brain. <laughs> you were there, Frankie? Okay, this one, this is the one. Okay, I have to focus myself. I have to focus. As soon as I focus, I will find the island. It's because I've been reading chat this whole time and it's because I'm not dedicating my heart and soul into the stream or the game, not the stream, the game. I am dedicated, I believe. And now I can see the floaters in my vision because I am so focused in my game. Do not look at chat. They're yelling at me. I do blame you, yes. It's your fault. Stop talking to me. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know if this boy business is going to get me anywhere. Gwen, stop it. I'm not looking. <laughs> Take a look. Oh my god, guys. Now I'm starting to think. What if I'm cursing myself by lying to the game? Okay. I have to focus. I am focusing. Not this outfit right now. Are you kidding me? Diana's looking away. Quick post this. Skipping baguette child. The one. <laughs> Pitbull being a part of the comfy cafe was not on my bingo card this year. <laughs> okay. I gotta stop looking at you guys. I can't look. You've been watching since 2020? Aw, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I appreciate you, Frankie. I'm still distracted. I have to focus my full energy, my full mind, body, and soul. I'm going to get everything I want right now because I am manifesting with the power of my mind. With the power of the Trinity, of Hello Kitty, Miffy, and Snoopy. It didn't work, you guys. It didn't work. It's a huge credit to you as a streamer that this has been wildly entertaining despite doing the same thing over and over again. <laughs> Stop, Miffy. <laughs> Honestly, and this is, you know what? If you're watching this and you've been here for the entire three hours of me doing this, um, go touch some grass right now. <laughs> go, t I forgot the calico critters. B, you're right. It's because I didn't, I didn't include the calico critters as the sub trinity to the holy Sanrio trinity, the, the holy cute trinity. And that is why it didn't work. I forgot. I hope my neighbor does not perceive me. If you're watching this from the future, hello. <laughs> Lexi, what? 
You can't make me. It's cold outside. I haven't been outside because of the cold too, blush. It's been so hard. I told myself today, you know, when it's springtime, it might be a good time to actually go outside and walk in the park before stream. That's what I told myself. Okay. We're here for the long haul. It's happening. This island is going to be worth it. For anyone that doesn't know what my island theme is going to be, maybe we can talk more about Animal Crossing. Maybe we can be relevant to the stream. <laughs> my island theme is going to be a vintage, structured, overgrown town core island. I'm trying to find like a good name for this theme, but like in my mind, I just picture a lot of castle walls a lot of alleyways, some like hidden little farms. I want a lot of trees uh, like planted everywhere. I want just like little nooks and areas where they're kind of hidden so you can climb into them. Um, I want some like Dublin core. Um, sure, <laughs> I don't know. A little farm village. Uh, See, the thing is, like, I... Maybe, yeah, I think that would be a good way of putting it. I just don't know if I'm... I'm gonna be having a lot of farms. Like, I want it to be, like, little areas. Like a European farm village with old architecture. Yes! Exactly. Do you have, like, a Pinterest board or something to get us some ideas? Yeah, I actually do. Let me see if I can find it. So I can pop it in here. I didn't really find a lot of things that were exactly like the theme or like they were the vibe, I guess. But I really want to make sure oh, I have to log in. Hang on. I want to I want to make sure that I can show you guys the board. It's like very... Okay. The ones I have are very similar, but they're not quite what I want. Cause I want everything to be like, like I said, smaller alleyways. And I feel like a lot of the spaces here are kind of big. Like not big, but they're like more open. I want this one to be kind of hard to get through. Like I want it to feel like a bigger island than what it actually is. Hopefully. That is my, my, my hopeful accomplishment with it. But there it is. Do you think we get an announcement for a new Animal Crossing soon? Like end of the year and getting it ne next year? Um, I wish. Like that's what I want in my heart of hearts. But I don't know. Nintendo's so unpredictable. Like if they're smart, they're going to sell it from the beginning. Because I think... I think if they want people to go from like the Switch to the Switch 2, they're gonna need to push like really, really good games. But I could also see Nintendo deciding to use Animal Crossing as a way to sell more when they're already like in their second year of like releasing the new Switch. So like it really depends on them. I would hope for that, but I don't think, I don't know. I can't really say. <laughs> could I see it? Yeah, I could see them announcing it this year and like, Maybe a year out from now is when we get the next one. I don't see it coming out, like, for release, though. Oh, yeah! Edinburgh. Are you going for the same castle wall vibe as the one you did before? Kind of. A little bit. Except, I feel like the one I did before was very, like... It was just very much, like, the same kind of, like, tan color palette. And for this one, what I really want is for, um... Kind of, like, different neutrals and, like darker buildings. I want light colored castle walls too, but I, I think I want to mix it up a little bit so it's not too boring. This isn't a great way to view the world, but at least AC and H made them a ton of money and they'll have to pay attention. <laughs> v, you're so funny. But yeah, they made it made them a lot of money. I'm almost tempted. Oh no, that one. Do you see how tiny that little dock is? It's so small. I mean, yeah, I don't want this. It's fine. It's fine. You don't think we'll get one till 2027 slash 28, honestly? I was like, what year are we in? Um, I think we'll get it sooner than then. I don't think we're going to get it, like, 
three years from now. I don't think they'll wait that long. Unless they're like planning on making it a huge game, maybe. I could see them maybe. Like if they're planning to make it as big as like, say Breath of, not like big as in map big, but like big as in a lot of detail, a lot of like different graphics and things like that. Like um, just kind of building up the game even more. Maybe they would wait a little bit longer, but I don't think they're gonna change too much about the game versus, but besides like, um, sorry besides maybe like the quality of life stuff. AC and COVID really saved me, it really did. It honestly made reality so much more bearable for me. I can't imagine the community we have if it wasn't released during COVID. I know, it really blew everything up. I mean, it was kind of like already in the trajectory of like selling a lot of games, but the way it really blew up obviously was because of like everybody being in lockdown and being able to play with friends. And then there was the FOMO of like, I remember my friends got it, like IRL got it specifically because all of their friends had it and they wanted to play with them during that time where we were like, nobody can see each other and like visit. Um, so wait, is this your, yeah, okay. I feel like the Switch 2 launch title will be a big Mario game since it's been... Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely a Mario game. I can see them announcing something for Animal Crossing maybe at the end of this year. Um, and like maybe releasing something next year. But at most, I feel like the next Animal Crossing will be like 2026. End of 2026. I don't know. That's like... That's kind of like what I would, I mean, who knows? I'm done, I'm done trying. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for a new game. <laughs> I think the good news is at least with like a new console, we'll at least have like more of an idea or like more of a countdown to like the next game versus now because I knew we weren't gonna get a new game during the, the current Switch. So. Manifesting pocket cam people are working with the next AC. Oh my gosh, imagine. I don't think they I don't think they would, but that would be kind of cool. I only don't think they would just because I feel like Nintendo very much like prioritizes certain structures within their games that I feel like they could be a little bit more experimental on with mobile, if that makes sense. Cause like Pocket Camp isn't really, I mean, true to Animal Crossing in a sense. You know what I'm, I'm saying? There's like a lot of gameplay differences. In a, in a way, I don't know if that makes sense. They're like a little bit more creative, and I think. I think Animal Crossing, like the actual game itself, has less freedom in design. I don't know. think they're gonna go the, the microtransaction route and that's exactly what I'm saying like I I just don't I don't see them doing that with their like traditional games if they ever did anything that required us to purchase anything it would probably be like some sort of DLC but not like a micro transaction type of thing yeah it's their money grab game it's not about the quality of game it's more about like how many items you can get. I don't think it'll have my microtransactions though. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to say too. I don't think so either. You don't have to worry about that. They're more like traditional in certain like aspects, I feel like. Real talk, will there be another Animal Crossing edition con I think so. I could see that. They did it for the DS or uh, the 3DS and then yeah, they did it for yeah, the 3DS Switch. I wouldn't see why not. I'm starting to lose my mind, y'all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> my mind just kind of like went blank for a second. Okay. Am I? I'm being too picky. I'm being too picky. Okay. I'm. I'm being too picky. I'm not doing this anymore. We're not gonna be as picky. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna take them more seriously. Cause I just saw Carissa's, I like the top left and I already closed it and I should've, I should've. 
The short dog might be a little too big. Yeah, I don't really care about the dog. I wasn't looking at that. I was looking at the peninsula. But I saw, like, it was more of, no, I wasn't looking at the peninsula. I was looking at how close the resin services was to the beach. And, like, that's why I closed it. I don't care too much about the dock. The dock can, like, it's fine. Top left is really close to the beach. It's good we could actually look back on YouTube. <laughs> Just 30 more minutes. 30 tiny little minutes. You got this, Gwen. You're almost there. You're almost free. It's almost time to touch grass. Oh, I, I already asked you this, but are you uh, taking a nap, Gwen? I think I missed what you said. Oh, um, Curly Katie, I'm doing a, um, I'm sorry I missed your comment. I'm doing a, like a vintage village kind of theme is what I'm doing overall. And usually like my islands are very minimal or they have been in the past couple of islands that I've been doing, I think since like 2021, honestly. And this time I'm like going to make it a lot more item heavy. I'm going to make it a lot more, um, just packed in general like there's just gonna be a lot more like small spaces alleyways I want to make like rooftop areas and I want to make cafes I want to make little hidden areas like bookstores and um, I want to do maybe like a little train station somewhere like I think it'll be a lot of fun I think it's gonna be a lot of fun you did miss I said I'm not because I feel good today okay awesome that's awesome. The way I always forget Gwen always has to work at this time. Yeah, Gwen gets off. Wait, you're getting off a little later today then. I thought you got off at 4.30 for some reason. Yeah, rooftops are going to be really fun. I want to have like ladders everywhere so we can like have little views. That's another thing I want to work on. I want my town to like have a lot of like um, cliff so a lot of lookout points from maybe the top of a cliff or something and have a lot of like layers kind of inclining toward the back and then going back up in the front I think it's going to be really like if I can actually achieve this it's going to be a very fun theme to do you're going to make me change themes really quick <laughs> I thought you were saying you're gonna make you're gonna change your theme really quick. I was like, don't you believe in me? <laughs> Whoa, shy, 20 minutes? Let's go. I wish that's how long it took to get to work. Oh shy. Damn, that's awesome. Also, welcome back. I still haven't found an island. It's okay. Let me actually really think about this this time and like I'll tell you guys why I'm not choosing them. That way it doesn't look like I'm being too picky. Because I feel like I'm not vocalizing why <laughs> I'm not picking some of these out. Having cute side views is such a strong strength of yours. Like the ones in cotton were so well thought and cute. Thank you, Enrique. I appreciate it. That's really sweet. I think it's going to translate really well on this island too. I really do. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be really fun and then I think toward the back of the island I want to have like a small forested area too with like a campsite or something okay <laughs> the little star pond too close this one's too close to the beach for resident services this one's very tight this one is also close to the beach but not as close which is okay I also would prefer my airport to be more central and then this is just what it is. So um, we can check this one out. Okay, so I remember I had this idea of having like something. You know, I think I can make this work. I think I can make this work. Let's see. If it doesn't work out with the airport, then we can restart. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a forever island. That's why I think I have, like, ugh. now that we're, like, three hours deep into this, I'm, like, starting to realize I'm 
I have a lot of criteria and it's, this is the one trust. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. I think I could make this work. It has a little bit more space than than the other ones. So. Forever Island equals license to be picky. <laughs> so true. Oh, Sophie, thanks for manifesting. Everybody quick manifest peaches, peaches and yellow hearts. Peaches and yellow airport. I'm manifesting with you, Sophie. We got this. <laughs> Please. Pears. Okay, not bad. I don't mind the pears. Give me a yellow airport. If it's anything else, I'm not going to take it. Dun it, dun, dun. <laughs> no. Okay. I think I should have taken the the one with the the orange airport and peaches. I really don't mind the orange airport, but with the pears, it's a weird combo. I said nothing. <laughs> uh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Sings the Peaches song from Mario. Are you always choosing the same option when they ask what to take to the island? Um, I don't think that affects anything though, right? Sorry, guys, I'm just going to fix my hair a little bit. Getting a little bit of a headache. Improving sexist theory. Okay, fine. I'll be a boy again. I'll be a boy. We can't trust anybody's intuition here. I can. It's not your fault that this game is so annoying. You know, this is the thing that I don't understand. Like, why, why couldn't we just like choose the color after like what why couldn't we just give it a little paint job after happy home paradise or even just in general like giving us the option to change certain things about our islands too much power i know but you already gave us so much power like why stop there you know what i'm saying like why did they stop at like decorating our villagers houses i like, if you're going to make a customization game, you got to make it right. <laughs> they literally have paint buckets in the game, too. <laughs> I don't think it does, but whenever I don't get the color I want, I change the option. Okay, let's change my gender. Let's change the option. I'm a boy, and <laughs> this always looks so funny to me. When I spawn in as a little boy. Okay, here goes. And then I'm gonna do something that's not, the lamp, is it? The lantern? I know, why can't we change our island name? Hello? Why can't we just say, hey, uh, Tom Nook, I, you know, I decorated this island and now I'm kind of, I'm kind of not vibing with the name. Can we have a new vote and just change the name, please? That'd be nice. Y'all, I think, what time? How long has today's stream been? Okay. I am going to give myself a cutoff point. That's not very cash money of you, Isabel. <laughs> okay. I named this island. Why can't I change it, right? The ability, to, wait. Um... The ability to customize should have def been a feature for things like the airport and island name, right? Ah, oh, man, it's fine. 
Nothing can be done at this point. Nothing else to be done. These are all very close. These three here are too close. I want there to be a lookout into resident services again, just because I really like the look of that. Um, hi, Shayla. <gasps> Guys, let's get the stream to 200 likes. Aw, you know me from Aster Tales? I love Aster. This makes me want to restart too, only if you have to. Because right now I'm going through so much. Okay, I don't wish this on anyone. <laughs> this is not the one, guys. I didn't like that one either. I really didn't like that one. It was more of like a map thing. It wasn't like just random stuff at this point. Also, hi, Shayla. Welcome back. Did I say welcome back? Am I losing my mind? I don't even remember. <laughs> We're so close to 200 likes, y'all. Wait, how close are we? How close are we to 200? We're five likes away from 200, you guys. You're gonna play again, Mary? She's losing it. I am. Is there a way to check how long the stream has been? I'm trying to see on my phone and I can't check. It's crazy how we were okay with just about any map when the game first started. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Wait, do you mean today or like just in general? Because today I was like, I'm not going to be too picky. I'm fine. Streamer took a little bit of a break at some point. It's three hours and 30 minutes. Three hours and 33. Okay. How did you guys check? You can only choose one. Change your island name whenever you want. Change resident services placement or put trees closer to rivers and cliffs. Which one would you choose? I would choose resident services placement. That's what I would choose. Oh, back in 2020. I know, we didn't even care. It wasn't even something we thought about. Hold your cursor um, against the beginner of the red. The beginning of the red. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <gasps> Yay, we got to 200 likes. Thanks, guys. Oh my gosh, we killed it. We really killed it. I am so proud. I'm so proud of us. We really did that. I can't believe it. I really can't. Thanks for welcoming me back to stream here on, on YouTube, guys. It's been so long, but I, I, I really enjoyed today, actually. I think last time I was so nervous. I don't know why I was nervous to come back to YouTube. I was genuinely so like, I don't know, my heart was racing. It felt weird. It felt different. I was scared. We also got like a troll in chat. It was not good. It was not very live, laugh, love. But um, I'm glad I pushed through because I'm actually having a lot of fun today. Different interfaces can be intimidating. Oh, totally. We don't even have anything right now with like commands and we're we're getting through today <laughs> so i am very very happy and um proud of us for doing it let me at them it's okay they eventually just kind of lift on their own so it's fine i wasn't gonna entertain their meanness i don't like when people are mean it's not very cash money of them <laughs> like one set earlier <laughs> so what are you guys having for dinner today tonight comfy check mine is 69 percent. yeah comfy check guys what's your comfy check <laughs> wait i wonder if we can still do that here can we do that or have you guys tried I wonder if there's a way to like just move them over. Oh no. I don't think I added it to this right now. Chicken nuggets? Mmm. <laughs> that sounds good. I love chicken nuggets. Bangers and mash? Stop it. Are you joking right now? That sounds so. I love bangers and mash. Tilapia, veggies, and fried. Sorry, I said it like that. <laughs> Tilapia veggies and fried rice. That sounds so good. Probably going to make ramen. It's something that doesn't bother my ulcers. Enjoy your ramen. You had sushi? 
Sushi sounds really good. I love sushi. What kind of sushi do you like? Did you, um, did you have a good one today? This one's not bad. I think we, oh wait, this one's double south facing. Um, the thing with the, the, the south facing, I feel like is that I could always just cover it up, right? Like that's not a big deal. It's also really mm, close to res. Like I, I want there to be enough space for terraforming. It's not bad. We can try. Let's try. Look at the bottom right brick. Was it really close? I think it was, right? Ah, uh, Esme, I'm glad the stream is cozy. I hope you have a good night. You're actually cooking dinner right now, Milanesas and garlic potatoes. What is that? I love anything with garlic though. I want sushi again. I've only tried it again recently because I don't like it. You didn't like it before, but I tried some at TwitchCon and I loved it. I remember the first time I tried sushi, I didn't like it only because I didn't like avocados at the time, which like, how do you not like avocado? I didn't like avocados. For me, it was like a texture thing, but um, I'm so glad I got over it because I love avocados now. What really helped me with liking avocados is I started to have guacamole as like a as um like a topping for steak potatoes during barbecues and that really helped me out with like being able to stomach avocados and now i love them caldo de pollo because my oh i hope he feels better soon you're so sweet for doing that i only eat salmon sushis but i got them at the supermarket and they just oh yeah supermarket sushi can definitely be <laughs> questionable sometimes same for me. Diana guacamole changed my mind suddenly. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's like with the flavors and everything. And my mom makes a really good guacamole. So I um, I tried it once at a barbecue that we were having in our backyard. And it was so good. And I just, I don't know, started liking them. Frying avocados in panko and putting them in sushi is tasty. That sounds amazing. Fried avocado in panko. Bro, I, I would have that just on its own. Wait, is that Teddy? I'm so sad about the blue airport, but look at my villagers. <laughs> They're so cute. Name a better duo right now. I would have kept you guys if I had the right airport color. Who's gonna paint the airport? No, Teddy, Teddy, are you gonna do it? Are you gonna paint the airport? No, Teddy, wait, no. Teddy, I'm talking to you. Don't be rude. Don't be rude, Teddy. <laughs> okay. Wow. The luck of the starters there. They were so cute. I know blue isn't bad, but for my theme in particular, it really wouldn't have fit. It really wouldn't have fit. Teddy doesn't have time for this. Blue is popular. It's just not the, like, the vibe of my theme. Like, I, I would definitely be closer with the vibe or the theme if it were just orange. So I'm going to stop fighting the orange because orange isn't that bad. It's actually kind of nice. I know you guys don't like orange, but <laughs> I feel like I could get used to orange. Are we officially yellow and orange? Yeah, yellow and orange. <laughs> I refuse orange. Yellow and orange and peaches. You know what, y'all? Even if we didn't find what we were looking for, I'm just really happy we got to spend this time together today. I'm very grateful for our time here, laughing, making fun of me. <laughs> Making fun of how sexist New Horizons is because I'm getting more close as a boy to my map. Okay, have you noticed? Now that I'm a boy, suddenly I'm getting all the good maps and like the good villagers. We're getting, we're always getting sentimental. <laughs> okay. I like orange too. You know, I realized I like orange when I once went to visit somebody and I was like, actually, this this is a really pretty uh, airport color. Me, whose favorite color is orange. Hi, Wally. Nice to see you. <laughs> Don't worry, I like orange. 
Man, I can't believe I said no to an airport that was orange earlier and I had peaches too. It is pretty, right? Like during this time of year, it's not that bad. Okay, it's not that bad, right? Why am I, why did I do that? I'm actually so upset. I bet it was a really nice map too and I don't even remember. You were not saying that at the start. Why are you fighting me, Pimple? I'm gonna cry. Don't bully me. Don't bully me. It's been three hours and a half of looking for a map. I can't be convinced orange is good like in spring. Ugly. I'm with Pitbull. Okay, fine. We're gonna do a poll. It's gonna be a poll, guys. Wait, how do I do a poll on this? Is it forward slash poll? No, that doesn't work here. <laughs> um, how do we make polls? Wait, is it down below? I think it's down below. Hang on. How do we do polls? How do we do polls? I don't know how to do a poll. Haha, <laughs> pit. Pit? <laughs> Don't beat yourself up, you can't change the past and you're allowed to have standards too. You kind of like that the orange blends into the wood deck better. You know what? Caitlyn is one for aesthetic because that is such a good point actually. How do we do a poll? Engage with your audience. Oh, there it is. Okay, I found it. I need you guys to be real with me, okay? We're gonna do a poll, it is anonymous. Pipple, I already know you're gonna choose yes. That orange is a good airport color, right? Um, so don't forget. There is a poll right now. You can tell me if it's a good airport color or not. <laughs> be honest, I don't want lies. No one lie to me. You voted yes. It's okay, but I prefer all three others over it. It It is good, but not for you. <laughs> Blush. I'm honest lexicon. Wait, what did you say? Is that a yes or a no? I did vote yes, but I worry you'll regret it. <sighs> okay. The poll should have said, is orange a good airport color for me? <laughs> because that's so factual. Because it is a forever island. That's a good point. None of these are great. Yeah, I don't like these. I'm sorry. I know you're just settling. Would you guys be okay if we continue doing this tomorrow? <laughs> don't settle. Okay, okay. Don't yell at me. <laughs> don't yell at me. <laughs> I know I've come this far, but if you really think about it, I'm still at square one. <laughs> it's good if you're making a rainbow rice food text style orange juice island, but you're not. <laughs> what? Pit? What? Okay. It looks like you guys said yes. Let me, let me change the poll. I'm going to change the poll. I'm going to need y'all to be honest with me. Okay, I'm starting a new poll. If I got orange, should I settle for orange? Yes or no? That is a real question. 67% I keep going love. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not saying it like that. I mean, I was curious to see like what the general like gist of it was but now it's like is it good for me you know what i'm saying because i do think orange is a good airport color and chat agrees for the most part you know you say keep going if everything else is perfect and you're sticking with this theme yes 
okay. See, Andrew, that's a really good point because I was thinking after this theme, I wanted to do milkweed as like a, like a bright green, like colorful, going back to minimal with a lot of tulips and yeah. So then at that point I would have orange as my airport color and I wouldn't want to restart just because of orange. If you, if you find a map you can't part with, but otherwise keep going. True. I'm just so glad I already decided on mine and went through this process. Yeah, it's, it's nice to look back and not have to think about this again. I'm really being tortured out here. I love how I stuck to just making myself a boy for a... Uh, Superstition's sake. <laughs> Every time you say air, air, airport, I keep thinking of the, the TikTok of the guy rhyming airport with J, Japort. What's that? <laughs> Wait, what's Japort? <laughs> Did he just make that up? To be honest, I never look at airports when assessing the vibes of an island outside of this initial moment. You know, I do like looking at airports myself especially when I'm doing the entrance like whenever and that's always the first like build that I do is usually the entrance just to set the vibe of the rest of the island so like who's leaving wait who's leaving did I miss you guys if everything da -da. no worries I'm taken to the v to the cape Wait, taking Bebop to the K-pop store. Have fun. Good night, Mary. Bye, Mary. I just saw your comment. I was looking for it. Okay. I think this is going to be my last and final try. Because I'm starting to get hungry. I'm tired. This one's not bad. I am settling for double south facing river mouths, but to be honest with you guys, like I can just cover it and it's fine, right? The clouds by my window have pink undersides and oh, that's so pretty, enjoy the view. I'm completely cloudy over here, so I can't enjoy view. One more, should we try one more? What do you guys think I should do? Do we like this one? Okay. Eh? You're not sure, Shy? You're not feeling it? Okay. Okay. We're gonna go to home. Gives less beach, beach space if that bothers you. Oh, that's a really good point. Let's see. What does it look like? It was this one? Okay. Honestly, it doesn't bother me because, because for this last island that I did, I literally just did one side of the beach. The other side, I just like planted whatever. Like it wasn't a big deal to me. Um, you know what? Let's try this one. Let's try this one. If it's not perfect, I'll try one more island map layout. <laughs> I'll never end, will I? It's never gonna end. I feel like all of them but bottom right are too close to the airport. Wait, which one did I pick again? Wait, I need to look. I'm sorry. <laughs> Peninsula's also super far right now. I don't know if you have a preference on location. I did until today. <laughs> I did pick bottom right. Was it really close? I don't remember it being, was it really close? It looked like it had a good amount of space, no? Wait, can I watch back my own stream? I can, okay, let me go, let me look back. I'm gonna... I'm gonna look back at the maps. It wasn't that close. It could have been closer. It's like a... Eh. It's like... 
We're going on four hours. Have we hit four hours yet? I don't think we have. Have we? Oh, we are literally eight minutes away from four hours. Oh my gosh. That's not jinxing though. It's just more time for us to hang out. I was actually anticipating a four hour stream today. It's okay. I, I don't know if I was crazy about that map, but like at this point, I'm tired. I don't know how long I can go. I feel like no matter what, I'm gonna make it look good because I'm, I'm, okay, pears. It's already looking bad. Just start again tomorrow, baby. <laughs> Okay, no. No, no, no. Nope, sorry. This wasn't the one. I saw, I saw, um, I think I saw Gorilla Booty Cheeks too, and that was the, that was the defining moment for me. Okay, so we're gonna look at the maps, right? We're gonna look at the maps. I will try one island. If I can get to one island and look, and I, I don't know what's gonna end this. I don't want to, I don't want to stop because I really want to find an island. <laughs> but I can keep going tomorrow, right? Tomorrow's stream is gonna be over on Twitch, friends. If I can find a way to multi-stream, it might be over here too. I feel like it'd be fun to have it in multiple places. <sighs> I feel like I already started here. Might as well. Maybe the Animal Crossing gods will take pity on you in the final moments. <laughs> the you've been cracking me up all day. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you for making this fun for me because otherwise I think I would be crying. I've just been giggling. Thank you guys so much for making me laugh. Because this is like pulling out teeth. I personally love a way to multi-stream because Twitch intimidates me. Yeah, Twitch is not... You know what? When I first started Twitch, it was intimidating. I can see how it still is intimidating because for me at least, I don't think Twitch helped my channel very much. Like, it was a great... Like, I love the UI of Twitch and I like many aspects of Twitch, but... In terms of growth as a streamer, it really was not an easy thing for me. And um, YouTube is a great platform. That's why I'm back here again. And that's why I've been streaming here again. And that's why I plan on keeping it that way. So, but if you did want to do Twitch, I recommend multi-streaming 100%. I think that's the only way to go, honestly. Especially if you already have viewership here. I've got to get going, but good luck with finding an island. Carissa, thank you so much. It was really nice to see you and to hang out with with everyone here today and, and yourself included. Thank you. I'll try to remember Twitch tomorrow. <laughs> 12 p.m. Eastern time, guys. 12 p.m. Eastern time. This is going to be the last look at any sort of island maps. We'll continue on tomorrow. I'm really hoping we can continue this like multi-stream because then I can just have it here and like not lose the VOD. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely staying here. I, if you get this map, Animal Crossing announcement will come out in 2024 plush, if only. Thank you, Sarah. This next one will be the one I believe. Oh god, a squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. How come I always get so scared of the squirrels? Hi, Haley. <laughs> tea tree map. Let's t let's just try tea tree map because this is actually a slightly bigger peninsula. I can feel it in my pee like the Germans like to say. <laughs> let's try tea tree map. We have to try it. It actually looks really good compared to all the other maps we've been getting. 
<laughs> we need a montage of me getting screamed. <laughs> we need a montage of you getting jump scared by squirrel. It literally just jumped. It went from like, it was like, it didn't even, I don't even know where it came from. It literally fell down. Like I just saw a squirrel tail going down into my balcony. Not balcony, um, fire escape. Okay. Okay, if this is not the map, I'm going to be so upset, you guys, because I actually really like this map. Also, again, Haley, hi. It's so nice to see you, Haley. I hope you're doing amazing. I would love to play anything with you. I miss you so much. Diana's Forever Island potentially being the same map as Tea Tree. How poetic. Right. Actually... Okay, everybody manifest. I need everybody to manifest yellow and peaches because I think this is the only way. This is the only way. <laughs> this is the only way. I need this to work. Yes, of course we can, Haley. I need this to be the one. Could you imagine this is actually the one? Peaches, 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 peaches. Okay, I will. Wait, <laughs> sorry, that's not what I meant to do. This is the run, <laughs> Haley. I need this to be the run. I need to, I need to, oh my gosh, okay. And if, okay, peaches, peaches, and, and yellow. Peaches and yellow. No! Okay, oranges aren't bad. Yellow, yellow airport, yellow airport. I can do orange. Mm. I'm so sad it's not peaches because peaches would have been so cute. But yellow, I can deal with yellow airport and oranges. Okay. <laughs> oh, not Deirdre. This isn't that serious. I love the map. She's canceled. No. <laughs> Looks like we'll see you tomorrow. fine hi i'm fine it's fine we're fine we're gonna continue tomorrow um <laughs> i feel like crying you guys don't see it. my eyes are watering that was so sad for me um we're gonna continue this tomorrow if <laughs> she threw i could never look at this beauty i could never throw this controller are you joking right now never never i would have yanked my controller Honestly, the perfect map was staring at me in the face. I almost fell and then you popped up like a squirrel. <laughs> okay, so anyways, tomorrow we're continuing on with the island map hunt. If you want to for sure be able to watch that stream, it'll be over on Twitch. Um, and I would really appreciate the support over there. These are my last and final days being featured as a Latina creator for the month of January. So um, if you would like to, you know, just support and be there, then you can find me on twitch.tv forward slash Diana Lay. And do we have a link for Discord somewhere? Hang on, twitch.tv forward slash Diana Lay. Wait, can, am I doing this right? Thank you so much for watching everybody. Thanks so much for um, just being here and hanging out with me. It was so much fun. I'm gonna try to multi-stream I just don't know how else to do it besides paying for it. So yes, it's a pigment controller. Look, let me show you. Look how beautiful it is. It's got a little pigment figurine, like three dimensional and everything. It's backlit. 
and it's so like I'm genuinely obsessed with it it's amazing it's amazing so good um thank you Gwen again it's you can find it on Amazon you can find it on Amazon anyway I'm gonna try tomorrow to see if I can multi-stream if not then I will be just on Twitch, but I'm gonna try my best. I promise I will try my best tonight to look into it. And then we can um, hopefully have like a nicer stream, like setup kind of situation. But thanks for hanging out with me today. If you haven't liked the stream, be sure to give it a like for me. It would really help out so much. And uh, yeah, thank you so much again for welcoming me, welcoming me back. Oh my gosh, tongue twister. Bye, everybody. I love you. Bye, Beth. Bye, June. Bye, Sakura. Bye, B. Gwen. Adri. Linda. Daisy. Emmy. Andrew. Haley. Shy. Tingling. Um, Boomy. B. Did I say B? <laughs> Daisy. Did I say bye? Okay, I did. Bye, Lexi. Bye, Linda. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye, Ali. Bye, Della. Take care. Bye, Afia. Bye, Sarah. Pitbull. Okay, bye. <laughs> Take care. Sure.